and we're good to go. So, episode two of uh, Greasus, is he bad? Um, mercy is late, hey. <laughs> I'm always exactly when I intend to turn up, I guess. Or sometimes I'm late, I sleep in. But, um, but yeah, um, yeah, sorry if you're expecting me a little bit earlier. Right on cue, exactly. Um, so yeah, so is Reese as bad? So I guess the number one thing for answering that question is, is it like, is he viable? You know, like, is it possible to play him? Um, so I think we've partially answered that in episode one, which is, which was to basically rush down here, take out Gorst, rush down here, take out Kugath, two of our major strategic enemies gone. Um, and it's somewhat unexpectedly, well, I wasn't expecting it, but I probably should have. Um, Draz then invaded over from the west, brought in three three army, three crap stacks, though, three pretty weak armies, including his main stack, um, which we took out. And now we're kind of poised to go and mop up his whole faction. Um, but meanwhile, the other major, a, like really major threat is uh, Greasus. Uh, sorry, Grimgore. So Grimgore is up here, just happily growing stronger. Um, he's currently ranked two and he's got nine settlements now. So, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about trying to make friends with him. So I actually have made a non-aggression pact with him. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's at war with, he's currently at war with, um, Karak Azorn. He's already taken their capital. Um, so yeah, like once he takes them out, even though we've got a non-aggression pact with him, he's right on our borders. So if he just try, decides to betray us, um, you know, we aren't going to have much warning. Um, but yeah, so I guess there's like, yeah, there's two aspects to it. One, is he sort of viable to play? Like how hard is it to deal with these starting threats? So as I said, we've sort of dealt with the south part of the starting threat. The other the other part would be Grimgore, which we haven't really, well, I don't know, maybe we've dealt with him by getting a non-aggression pact, but I suspect we have not. Uh, we have not dealt with him and we're still going to have to figure out what we're going to do about him. Um, but the other part of it for me about whether he's bad, I guess, is once you've sort of once you've sort of defeated your starting enemies and established, you know, that you're not going to just lose the campaign and get wiped out immediately. Like, what kind of campaign do you have after that? Like, is it going to like suck the whole time or is it going to be fun or, or what, you know? So, like, I think part of that for me is like having... Um, I don't know, I guess there's lots of different types of fun campaigns, but I guess what I'm trying to do in this campaign is set up a friendly uh, alliance with Cathay on the on the right-hand side here so we can get some trade income going with them and just not have to worry about that side, you know? And then, like, when you're fighting on a single front and just kind of mowing shit down and you just keep going forward all the time, that tends to be usually the most satisfying fun campaign. When, if you like attack over here and you're doing okay, but then you get attacked in the back and you have to try and bring all your armies back across here and you know, and then you go back over there, like that's the type of campaign that feels really bad, feels really unoptimal and painful and stuff. So that's probably what I'm looking to avoid from now on. Uh, there was a, I felt like there was a bit of back and forth going on, but hopefully now we're, we're kind of set. Um, these guys are all just sitting here in uh, raid stance in order to give us, um, in order to give us uh, growth bonuses. Get it done. Sure, there we go. Grab it all. Um, you know, to give us growth bonuses for our camp. Uh, we've already got it to tier two, and now we're just trying to get to tier three. You have a simple rule if they're in green territory, then they're dead meat. That's true. Can they always get shit on by lock here in all my campaigns? Okay. So I guess in, if that happens, then we've got the choice of either becoming friends with lock here or by or helping. Cathay to the feet lock here. Waste no part of a corpse. All right. Graces the shockingly obese. Um. Oh. 
Because we're hanging out in Scrap Towers. Um, wonder if I should sell Scrap Towers to Cathay or if I should take all this area back from them. Um, Let's not allow pleasantries to do. Hmm. No. So that's that, is that swamp or swamp lands, yeah. Everything we find is mine. Ogre slew a master. Hunger cannot slow us. Hunger guides us. We can start recruiting some more. We still may not manage to get any noble art chieftains. Yeah, like I was saying, it's so annoying. Like sometimes you get a noble art chieftain like literally on turn one or two, and then other times you just don't get any. And it's super, yeah, super annoying. We must feed the more. Oh god, tyrant! Um. Bad Miracles just gifted a most of the mad membership. Welcome Super Tramp to the uh, patrons of the Bodgy Total War Sciences. We're not very, uh, we're not very effective or strict scientific community here, but we try to try to figure stuff out. Thanks, Bad Miracles. Much appreciated. All right. So we start trying to get to tier three on as many settlements as we can. This is going to be my new little home base here. Slaughter master. Ogre slaughter master. So Camp Hive Tyrant's maximum is one at the moment, but we're three turns away from getting our second camp. Um... I think that's why I had this guy wandering around because I was thinking about popping down another camp. But I don't suppose... Oh, uh, I think it was because he's got um, recruitment bonuses, so I was thinking about bringing him down to start recruiting so we could get some... Um, excuse me, get some higher ranked guys. Units. Looks good. So, hmm. So, yeah. So, I guess, like, I like to have, like, a little homeland, like, a little empire, um, home territory or whatever that I like to, like, that's, like, an aspect of my campaigns, I reckon, that I like to have my little home territory set up the way that I like it. Except that. And we've not got So, I'm not sure. I think I wanted that to be in the Southlands down here, in this, uh, whatever this is called, Noblar Country. And the Dragon Isles. So we've got the Dragon Isles secured. But I've currently sold Noble Country to Iron Dragon. But we could potentially trade it back to him again. Hmm. I was thinking maybe we could invade in here and trade this to Iron Dragon. Like, trade this stuff to Iron Dragon in exchange to get our original homelands back. Um, I guess we could trade with these guys until they... Um, until they get wiped out. Cathay has always respected. Uh, until we, sorry, trade, we could trade, take over Draz's lands, give Draz's lands Iron Dragon. And then sort of use Iron Dragon to protect us on both sides. And that way we could just be free to go up and fight Grimgore, maybe. That could be an option. Or we could just chew our way all up here and then come in Grimgore in the side here. Hmm. 
One good thing about one good thing about ogres is that they always have siege attacker. Which is pretty cool. Um, Pyrrhic High. I mean, yeah, I guess it looks a bit rough. Maybe we could try and fight this one and see if we can um, do a bit better than Pyrrhic High. All right, be good to start off the campaign, start off the stream with a uh, with a good fight. Let's do it. So you reckon Lockyer always wins? Because they, because now with the new faction potential thing, it should be kind of randomized, you know. Um, oh, damn it! I forgot this was a siege. <laughs> I don't want. I don't really want to fight a siege. Crap. Um, yeah, you think it should be randomized, so it should be like sometimes north, sometimes south, Cathay wins, um, or sometimes north, sometimes west, or whatever. <sighs> Man, ogres. I don't know if ogres are very good at. Sieging. I mean, we do have um, Stone Shaker, so at least we can punch holes in the walls. Are these guys even going to be able to come in there? I hope, I hope so. Kitay has never won in your campaigns? Okay, what about Snickish? Snickish never wins? Just shows the dominance, the superiority of the um Oh uh, yeah, village yeah, village comes down and beats up Meow Ying, yeah, true. I guess that's helpful when you're playing as Cathay though, like if you're playing as Yuan Bo, because that means that you more easily can um guarantee that you'll be able to confederate Meow Ying. Never gets like Yeah, it just takes that little north bit or whatever, but it's enough to like bust her up so she can't become dominant. And what happens to um, Xiaoming? He gets taken out by Loki, you reckon? Mm. Yeah, I've seen Loki take all of the coast and kind of take in halfway, kind of halfway in, like halfway into Stickage's territory. Oh yeah, we should probably blow up some walls. Um... So we've got endless one, endless um, uh, stone shakers, so we can just destroy all their walls. Plus, I think you can use them on their barricades and stuff as well. If I recall correctly. Got a bit of wins. These guys have stalk. Hmm. I wonder if I should do some stalking. Ogres, the Iron Warriors of Warhammer with their siege buff. Maybe true. I uh, might send these guys over here so they can get some uh, stealth wall action going on. Oh, did I miss? I think I hit the invincible part. Fuck it. Okay. 
Oh, I think I got it that time. Get some nice wall holes over there. All right, so I'm reckoning we send we send in group seven here with our um, our basic noblars. They can be the front line, take a few hits. Then we send in group five with all of our heavy charge and infantry. Excuse me. And we have our uh, range stuff coming in behind. How's that still active, even though there's no walls left for anyone to be mounted on? Nice hit on those Chaos Dwarf Warriors. This is right, we can just kind of blow up a lot of stuff. Why not take the other side where they have no units? Yeah, we could. I think I kind of prefer attacking this side. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I changed my mind from one game to the next. Also, it depends which version you're playing on, whether you've got the Wood Elf Forest here or not. You can only use the army ability on the ones that have ranges on them. Ranges? What do you mean? Like the ones that where you can mount the ones that you can mount ranged units on. Yeah, like those ones, like that have got ramps. Let me blow those up. So yeah, once we blow those up, you can't, um, they can't rebuild them, which is cool. Accidentally, um, accidentally tr took over the um, took over the gate here, so that triggered them. 
you can't like enter you can't enter any of these capture zones once you're inside otherwise it um activates them these are the the, cap the capture zones for the towers is okay but any of the other ones and it screws it up Can't build it, can't build up the rampy things. I uh, could have blown that one up there. Meat for the meat god, indeed. Oh, that destroyed the infantry. Nah, I didn't fall far enough. You gotta fall pretty much the full height of the walls, I'd say, to, um, to get the insta kill from falling damage. Can't put uh, Bone Crusher on top. No. Unfortunate. His grease is bad. Well, that's what we're here to find out. That's what we're here to find out. I've been kind of enjoying him so far. I definitely had some worried, some worrisome periods where I thought maybe I'd made a horrible mistake in playing Greases, but. No, I'm sort of enjoying him. Looking for him. Rampage. Fresh meat. Guided by hunger. I'll smell ya. The more gains a foothold. When do we eat? This way! Where's the meat? Take it all! Alright, cut this. Hey, Club Monkey. Yeah, this is the first first manual battle. Now, what can else can we blow up? Oh, you can blow that up. Leader of butchers. My cleaver is sharp. 
No bad. All right, uh, we're just about out of ammo here. I'm not sure if they'll have the range to actually be able to shoot them from up here. I'm going to try that. Uh, I've got no more, uh, no more ammunition. That was a good hit. Alright. Easy done. <sighs> well, absolutely blowing the crap out of their fortress with our um, free ability was kind of fun. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess my dream is to have a big Greasus kind of empire that he rules over as this big fat ogre tyrant, you know, um, and have my camps everywhere, pumping out trade resources and money. So hopefully we can make that happen. What's Pigbarter's capital? Is that um, Dark Fortress? Pigbot has got a barracks. Hmm. This place is corrupted, tyrant of the tribe. Um, yeah, I'll just start, I'll just get the camp crew, I'll just get, um, camp level three going first before I go, go for any money or anything. Um, that'll be all right. It's still pretty early. It's only 18. Is there really no other camps? Yeah. You start off with a limit of zero on camps and then you unlock them through your technology. Um, if you mean like a, like a limit on the maximum amount you can get, no, there's no limit on the maximum amount you can get. 
when you eventually get a technology that um, allows you to get plus one camp limit for every level five camp that you get. So you just, yeah, just level your camps up to level five and you just keep getting more and more camps and you level them up to level five and get more camps, etc. But, um, but yeah, there's a, you only get one, two, three, four, five. I think, yeah, I think you get five. You get five to the five fairly quickly just by uh, researching all your technologies. And then you get this technology and then you start getting more from there. Um, you can also uh, confederate camps, but that doesn't that doesn't increase your camp limit. You just, you know, you just confederate the camp wherever it happens to be sitting there. So, yeah, so what we can do is level up a bunch of these guys to level, uh, what do you need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, level seven. And then um, spec into reader of portents. So that guy's already level eight. So I guess we could just like start a new. Master Butcher. One, two, three. I mean, I was only going to get three more levels and then we could keep him rather than having to respec him. Gracious, the shockingly out base. Mine. Boss of bosses. So it's swamp here. Um, it's not swamp there. Gracious always wins. So yeah, we'll um we'll move there. That way we can cap that next turn. Bring me ingredients. Oh, Pig Bart is actually the capital. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want oh, Ogre Bulls or not. Maybe. Alright, we'll get some Ogre Bulls. And then we'll, um... Then we'll get rid of that barracks, probably. Bulls do pretty well as it is. Yeah, that's sort of like my plan, just to get heaps of bulls at the moment. Most certainly. And then, um, yeah, so then maybe get into... I don't know, maybe Noblars, a couple of lead belchers, and some, uh, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously I want to get tier 3 so I can get lots of hunters on stone horns, because they're good value. Especially because we can get most, we can get them regeneration fairly easily. Um, I'll probably stop, or get, get rid of these, um, raiding lords here at some point. But, um, they're doing important work for the moment. Tyrant of the tribe. Biggest gut in the land. Want everything. Could probably. Obey me. Could probably disband some of this stuff. Make sure I don't die. Right? Let's go wonder, boys. And just recruit, just reduce. I won't keep anyone who challenges me. The useless get eaten. Got it? Oh, mine. Get moving. Move it. Yeah, just reduce that upkeep a little bit by putting everything in the camp. Might be the way to go. No ogre can beat me. Though we're probably going to keep this... Uh, cr this We're going to keep this um, play going like literally forever because I'm just going to keep transferring units all the time. But we'll see how we go. And yeah, we're trying to get tier 3 here. Oh, finally got tier 3. Okay, good. Um, so we can... Um, Carrot Krakadin. I could trade Scrap Towers for Carrot Krakadin. 
I think I might have done that right at the end of the last stream, but then I... Anyways, all right, let's, um, yeah, let's get some, uh, get some hunters going on. Um, yeah, I was thinking about using my, uh, my boom, sh boom makers, but, um, but yeah, you can't actually get them in the game anymore now. So I might just play legit with what you can actually get in the game. Um, he looks cool. Look at his face. I like that face. He looks like a proper ogre lad. All right. So with these guys, we need to level, get them leveled up. But once we do, they'll be, um, quite potent. Quite potent warriors for us. Hey, Quebec Vince. How you going, buddy? Oh, yeah. Greasus gets one extra in his skill tree. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Forgot all about that. Yeah, up the top of his skill tree. But you can get infinite camps eventually. It's just you can get yeah, you get five from the tech tree and one from uh, Greasus's skill tree. Just grab a couple of extra ogres in this squad. Let him occupy. This is tier two. Some level 10. So we could get this guy a reader of portents as well. So yeah, we just need to respect them, and when we respect them back out, we'll give them um Um So like for example to bring Wolfert back in. But when we bring him back in We'll make sure we spec him. Uh, so he's got reader of portents plus ten percent technology, um, and I'll just go back there and give him bone crusher so he can at least cast some spells. And yeah, this guy we can also respect out. Um, the shop house awaits all of and, um, Alright, respect him out and we'll put in Andy Wolf East. Uh, 
And yeah, so when we're ready, we've got to just remember to disband them instead of um, respecting them so that they keep their tech bonus. Decisive victory low. Um, is it low though? Let's play it out. For sea battles. Oh yeah, has anyone noticed if the patch actually worked? Because there was supposed to be a patch that stopped sea battles from crashing you as often now. Um, I haven't actually done any sea battles since then, so I haven't really noticed. But um, yeah, might have to do a Lockyer campaign next or something so we can just continuously do sea battles. Patch definitely works. You've been doing lots of sea battles and it's been fine. Yeah, why don't why don't we have um, Norsk and sea battles and um, we need Norsk and sea battles and black Eye and um, dark elf black arc sea battles, not just pirate sea battles. You have squadrons trolling the sea for sea battles. Yeah, nice. Sometimes I feel like it is actually almost worthwhile. Um, <laughs> nice. Um, so much for uh, doing this battle without taking any casualties. I was trying to wait for these guys so we could have overwhelming force, but kind of looks like it backfired a little bit. Um, the ogres didn't actually take much damage. Like they took a lot of damage, but they only lost one entity, so that's pretty good. No, yeah, I think that's available to everybody. I'm not sure. Shouldn't there be one more? Oh, there it is. Oh, did one hit over here? Fuck, that was pretty inaccurate. Surround these guys. Should 
Should be just about done, shouldn't we? So yeah, we can put that other army. I don't think the other army up north is going to be in range of Black Fortress, but maybe. <sighs> if it is in Black Fortress, then their defensive army is probably going to come out after us. Hey, you best do. <laughs> oh. If you really need sleep, but you can't resist the urge to watch streams, what I find works quite well is to, um, you know, like lay down with your laptop like on and just turn the volume down so you can like just kind of just make out like what I'm saying, but not, but like you could still close your eyes and sleep through it at the same time. And then you'll probably fall asleep. Or otherwise, you'll or you'll get to the point where you're actually really tired and you just turn it off. It's the moon's house. Oh, there's only two province to region. Okay, cool. Interesting. 200, 400. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Um. Gracious. You are privileged indeed to have the ear of Prince Imric. Hmm, he's not super friendly towards us. He's got no enemies as well. Excuse me. I reckon Imrik's going to attack us at some point, isn't he? Master. What a dick. Let's have a look. No food till you get there. Survivor of the flame. All right. Fire. Um. Ha! Ekwazuk. Yeah, so we've got the range to attack him. That means he's got the range to attack us as well. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. I should have recruited him at Great Hall of Greases. Keep moving. <laughs> Make your offer. Yeah, see, so Grimgore's not at war with anybody either, which is right where you stand. problematic. Hopefully, we'll go to uh, get to war with somebody. Yeah, no settlements, but about 14 cults. About 5,000 a pop to destroy them. So you spent 70,000 gold to kill the changeling. Fuck, I, I probably would have just learned to live in a symbiotic relationship with him. I would have just been like, I for one <laughs> welcome our new changeling overlords and just uh, stuck with it. Wasted is the word. Oh, oh well. What can you do? Restless. Ogres do have supply lines. Yep. So we're um we're spending about fifteen hundred gold plus another. 
1200 so about 3000 gold we're spending on supply lines including plus these three extra lords here at the moment So we could definitely be saving more if we wanted to. Ah, oh, boom. Um, okay, so we've got tier 3 now, and let's also get some more. Uh, actually, no, we'll just go for more money. And because we're about to level that up twice as well. It's a nice feeling wiping him out once and for all. That's fair. I'm the boss. No one else touch it. Tyrant of the tribe. Ogre Slumber Master. The Cook Master has new my Tyrant. Yes, yeah, so all these raiders, we can have them giving us technology and growth, um, ideally. So we'll try and switch them around with the other um, guys that are sitting out at the moment until we get that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to take these territories back or... Maybe. Continue working with me. And Shangyan will be a haven for you. So pig butter. Stop for flag again. Rock of Shambletown. Crackerton. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Thing is, we might lose. We might end up losing Crackerton though. If Grimgore turns on us. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so hopefully he stays out of the garrison and then we can have a chance to um, to kill the army outside the walls. Is he going to declare war on me? He's not. He's just going to declare, to demand a tithe. All right, we'll pay 1,600 gold for 10 turns apiece. Um, I think that when they, yeah, I think basically when they do that, when they demand, demand money, I think they give you about 10 turns usually after that. It's kind of like a peace treaty. Oh, nice, we got another camp. Um, I didn't actually get ready to drop it though. He's right there, so it's like, hmm. Emissary of the Moor. Moor's prophecy. Move. Tyrant of the tribe. Anyone want to challenge me? Oh, we broke. All right, let's um. The moon asks him. Today is a good day. Carve and grind. Put your feet up, boys. He 
this will bring me spoils. Fire priest! Such trinkets I right. will uncover! Um... Is this gonna be... This will be doable, won't it? What sort of magic they got? Oh, shit. Um, hopefully. You're a Kai. Yeah, all right. Well, hopefully we can get it done without without taking too much damage. Probably could have brought the third army in, then they would have retreated, and then we, but then we would have been able to fight them tired, I guess. But I don't know if it would have made too much difference. <clears throat> the hunt knows. God's out, boys. So they've got it there. Oh, I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure they've got Dreadquake again. Excuse my French. Excuse my snorting. <clears throat> I just watched, um, yeah, I've just been watching The Killing. If anyone likes, it's like a, it's based on like a Nordic noir type um, series, but I watched the American version. But, um, but yeah, I've seen it before, but it's pretty good. There's like four seasons of it. Oh my god. They really love doing that, like waiting until you come on from the edge and then dropping um, the, the Dreadquakes on you. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty costly. I think there was a movie of Gamora that was really good. I saw it at like a film festival or something, and then they made the TV series. Um, but I haven't watched. Um, I haven't watched it. I just kind of thought it would be, you know, not as good as this movie, you know. So, kind of didn't want to ruin it for myself. But um, but it's pretty good, you reckon? Oh, and have you seen the movie? I feel like there's, an, there's another, isn't there another mortar coming? I'm trying to like dodge this mortar. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, I think we're good now. When do we eat? Follow the moor's call. Rampage! Let's go, Noblas! That's pretty good fireball. The meat hook is ready. Take 
Oh man, my um, ogre's getting the crap shot out of him. He's not working out well at all. Is a bit violent. Oh, and that's a bad thing. You don't you think it's a bit over unnecessarily violent? Check a free heal on our. Um... Too much gore? No, oh, okay. I'll crush them. Yeah, I don't really need to see the gore most of the time. Um, I'm more about the storyline, like, you know, you can always have them, like, putting the gun to their head and then it cuts to a shot of the shooter with the blood sort of spatter on their face or whatever. So it's kind of inferred violence is... It's, uh, it's fine for me. I don't know, sometimes it's... I guess sometimes it's satisfying to see some, um... I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Is it necessary? I don't know. I guess I'm pretty desensitized most of the time. Trying to wrap, get a few more kills here and there. Got a nice heal on the um, on the fire belly with the um, with the butcher heal. I might try and get one on the um, Andy Warfeast as well. Grimgoresis, I mean. Grimgoresis. Yeah, how are you going, Shadow Slip? Why are you getting pulled in so many directions? Mm. 
<clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like sleeping with no screens on is probably the best. Um, whenever I'm able to do it, that definitely gives me the best sleep. But yeah, a lot of times I feel like I can't sleep without a screen <laughs> without a screen on. Um, and so I do some combination of either, yeah, falling asleep with the with the stream with the you know a video or whatever on low, or um, or doing that for a while until I realize that I'm falling asleep and then I can just switch it off and go to sleep. You can kind of feel it when you're in the when you're in the mode when you're ready to actually sleep. All right, decimated their army, replenished our army. Good, good. Gracious, the shockingly obese. Ogre slew a master. Never for me. Tribe Lord. Kill him. I am ritual. Alright, we'll force march this dude up here. So we get one more into the um get one more nice to our technology bonus. Um that we can get one more magic item drop chance. <clears throat> Man, this guy's gonna have another mortar again. Bring the meat to the choppers. Mike meat. Sort of thinking maybe I should auto it. We lost 265 dudes. Jesus. That's a lot. I don't know, maybe I should have fought it manually. Two magic items dropped. Your friend, yeah. Um, all right, let's. All right, we'll force march back just so we're in replenishment zone. This guy unfortunately can't make it to replenishment zone. Good old Wolfert. Um, he does. He's got. He's got the technology researched already, so. We'll replace him, not respec him, so he keeps the 10% research bonus. Um, and we'll start leveling up. Glog. They will harvest many ingredients. Seeking ingredients. Not into the right. Survivor of the flame trial. I don't think they can. Uh, I don't think they're going to have any other armies that they can attack with. So I think we're good. Uh, so we'll put the basic growth building going. And 10 extra growth. <clears throat> and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll deal with this rebellion. Tyrant of the tribe. Do what I say, slaughter master. More flesh will be Biggest gut in the land. 
Uh, shouldn't he be getting... Well, 40. Oh, yeah, right, right. So, yeah, I think you get plus 10 per, um, per rating army. So, yeah, we're getting... Oh, yeah, he's getting 10 plus 10 from the building, so it's 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus so that's 40. He's getting 10 and plus 10 from the rating. So, yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, so next turn we'll bring him back over here. Attack the rating army with those guys. And then, um, and then we'll maybe come over here and raid this army up, this camp up a bit. Um, we could take this four, four, plus five camp growth, but it takes four turns, and I'd kind of rather get to our next, um, you know, this is going to take 17 turns, I'd rather I take 17, not 21, you know. Um... Treasury reward from contracts. Now, that could be kind of cool if you get, like, a really rich contract that's worth like 80,000 gold and you get plus 50%, but I don't know. Um, don't care about meat gain from battles. Um, to get this bigger tense one, you have to recruit, you have to research both sides, do you? Or do you have to only research one side? I can't remember. I think you maybe only have to do one side. No, you gotta do both sides. Okay. Um, so we're going to do both sides up to there anyway. Meat generated five for all armies, or meat generated... Yeah, I think, um... Yeah, I'd probably rather go this one. Get the plus five meat for all armies. And also, um, we're, then we're close to uh, plus three hero capacity for five bellies. No one can stop us now. The boss! Oh, gosh, you are master. More God, my gut. Wars chosen, ogres stomp on the great Moors command. A fine tool of butchery. Yeah, so we get Dragon Fang Mount. Up to tier three, then we get some more capacity for our hunters. Very good. <clears throat> and yeah, I don't think I want pig barter anymore, so I'll trade pig barter for Krakaton. The Iron Dragon's assistance will only be granted for good reason. I will shape. And hopefully Grimgore doesn't attack us for a little while. That would be good. Most of them run out of food. Um, well, we, what it's kind of nice to do is once you got a couple of, um, once you got one or two permanent camps growing, um, like we've got here, then um, I quite often like to keep uh, a camp, like a passive, like a camp that you don't use permanently. You just drop it whenever you can, whenever you need to. Um, and that stops you from using food. So basically if you just always drop a camp near wherever your active armies are then that just means that they don't use any food while they're in that radius but so yeah it's nice to nicely it's a nice advantage to have so if i hadn't already dropped my camp i could just drop one right now and just have a camp here temporarily while i'm operating this area and then that would stop me from needing any food that's yeah that's probably a good way to manage it You can't pick it up now, but you can get the units out of it and destroy the buildings in it and then just disband it and drop a new one. So it'll probably cost you, assuming you actually need the units, the, like it costs you 2,000 to drop a camp, 
but you probably get like I don't know, like to say this camp for example. Um, we drop this camp, cost two thousand gold, and we get one unit of ogre bulls and two, three units of noblars. So that's six hundred. Uh, it's 1200, 13, 14, 15, 1500 worth of units, and um, 1500 worth of units. And I think if you dismantle this building, you get 600, so 2100 worth. You know, we'll get if we put those units into an army and we destroy this building, then we get 2100 back. So you essentially just made 100 gold by dropping the camp and destroying it. Um, so yeah but if you don't want the units which you probably won't because they're just crappy low level units then yeah you're losing you get back 600 if you just demolish this so you're losing 1400 every time you drop the camp but late campaign that doesn't matter much i hope this is gonna work garrison and dread rock's pretty shit hmm I could drop another. A stink here. Let's not allow pleasantries to delay more beneficial discussion. Uh, so what do we want over here? We want scrap towers. Oh, I've got scrap towers already. We want flayed, Lo flayed rock, Shambletown, and Nobby Gorge. Okay, so Nobby Gorge is the most expensive out of those. I mean, sorry, no, Shambletown. Yeah, Shambletown's the most expensive out of those, so we'll trade it for Shambletown. I will shake. We're being treated like me. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Chosen. I just. I treasure my cleavers, guided by me. Ekwazak. Yeah, let's we'll put them there. Then we're then we're good. And our hunter heroes hunter. are on their way to join our main armies. Oh, oh, I didn't check if I had enough money. Shit. Crap. If anyone else does any diplomacy, then I might take a few hundred gold if anyone's got it. Ah, oh, crap, they just got another army in there. I'm worried I need some cash. If we take attrition, um, if we take bankruptcy attrition on every army, that would really suck. More? No, not quite. I think we did alright. Alright, we've got new contracts. Um, 1500, 1500, here we go, 11, so this is, these guys servants of the Conclave, that's these brown dwarves up here, they keep kind of getting more and more money throughout the campaign, because they're kind of passive, um, so they end up offering you heaps of cash, so yeah, imagine we had that plus 50%, I think we could have got 17,000 from these guys. Hey Reza, how you going buddy? Yeah, it seems like a while since I've heard from you, hope you've been well. Uh, what are we going to do? Valley of the Horns, what are we going to do? Raise or sack Valley of the Horns, um... Hmm, I mean, probably will eventually, right? Maybe. So those those missions disappear if the faction offering the mission gets destroyed, I'm guessing. Um, do they also disappear if the the uh, like objective gets taken? Not sure. But yeah, so now I've got these guys here. Hopefully that'll stop... Um, Hopefully that'll stop Imrik from trying to go to war with us, or at least make it harder for him. I really wish Grimgore would go. Oh, here we go. Grimgore went to war with those ogres. Before I kill you right where you stand. I don't know where they even are. 
They're probably like nearly dead. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I'd really, I'd really feel a lot more comfortable if Grimgore would go to war with somebody else, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, it's a pretty crap army, but I bet he's got a massive auto resolve bonus from the siege. Um, from the settlement, you know. Um, Oh, insufficient funds, right? Let's uh, let's get some money, hey. The dragon um, does it. All right, let's get some trade. I speak with the wisdom of dragons behind me, child. Celestial greetings. Part natural. General, I am torn. My arm. Celestial ancestors. I appreciate your continued reverence. You drive a heart. Instrument of the divine. On behalf of Cathay. I hope you understand. Leader of men. Attention. Child of the Nye. These talk. Uh, oh yeah, these Shang-Chi rebels, we just declared war on for no reason. I will. Can peace out with them again. And Fetched, quick. Oh, ma, ready. You dare approach me. I imagine the saber skins are not long for this world, so we may as well declare war on them. You may, chieftain, darkness come. Lord of the dead. Uh, should we <laughs> declare war on the Golden Order? Um, sure. I do not value words with the weak. Leave me. I will permit it. Rashut bindad drash kazad. All right. All right, so we've got this battle going on here. Um, I wonder if I should farm the rebels, maybe. Mm, it'll cost us... It'll cost us... Um, the magic of me! Seeking ingredients. Meet ritual. The slaughter master abides. Uh, they're probably going to get wiped anyway because they're going to. They'll get what you know. They get pushed into the sea. Yeah, I'll just take the order. Yeah, so I'm putting a solid chunk of units inside this this uh, camp, just because this one's gonna be my oldest camp. And usually I try to be efficient and not waste too much money on um, on the camp. But on this particular occasion, um, I just don't want to run the risk of um, getting it destroyed by accident. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't. This will assist my recipes. Oh, 
Alright. Um, yeah, so this one's tier, tier 3 already. Um, still getting a bit of growth. This one... Um, heading to tier 2. We're going to move these raiders back over here to pump that up more. And if we could get some public order bonuses on these. I don't know if... I don't think ogres have any public order followers, do they? I think they're pretty anti-public order. Mm, yeah, no, nothing. Um, we, there might be an item. There might have been an item I was looking at before. I think it was a yeah, maybe like yeah. But you gotta have you gotta have three different shitty items that you gotta stack together to get the um to get the set bonus. Um, just eat the troublemaker if you got so yeah exactly. Excuse me. Jade Lions. Ah, oh, mute psychology, yeah. Bang sticks are cool. Earthing rod. No, I don't need earthing rod. Try and get another gut more. Nope. Uh, bang sticks are actually pretty good, aren't they? I think they're decent. Channeling staff. I should try and collect those. All right. Well, we'll keep everything now. Oh, control brewer. Control plus one. How many brewers have we got? Oh, we got heaps of brewers. All right. Cool. Let's give everyone a brewer. You got a brewer? No. Yeah. Glorious. I'm gonna give this guy a brew up. Where's where we got a brew up? Alright. This is my boom stick. This is my bang stick, exactly. Alright, let's this should hopefully hold off the rebellion for a while. Alright, we need to get some more money. Now, I'd really love to auto-resolve this siege if we can. There's no gut, bitch. Praise the volcano sends us gifts. Emissary of the moor. Then meet in my um, valiant defeat. Hi. Can we, what about if we stack more magic items? No, right, we've got all the items we can stack. Great skull. Um, give him a... Yeah, give him a mastodon armor. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think that one actually counts for auto-resolve. Nice Got more regeneration. Yeah, nice. Talisman. I got nothing. Oh. Yeah, sure. Enchanted. Arcane. The moon asks it. Just started Greece's campaign. I think I'm going to take the starting province and then rush Grimgor and try to get Gorse on my side. We'll see. Okay, nice. What are you going to trade Greece's? What are you going to trade Gorse? 
You can take over your starting start, starting province and then trade all of your starting province to Gorst to make friends with him. Gracious always wins. The thing with rushing Grimgor is like Yeah, I don't know. It's like your natural way of going is to go south. I feel like otherwise you miss out on terms of leveling and stuff and yeah, I don't know. I suppose it's fine. Yeah, let me know how you go. I'm interested to know how many turns it takes you to get to Grimgor, like to kill his main army, and then how many more turns it takes you to occupy all of his settlements. I really don't want to have to fight this battle. Fuck me. Can we like bash that guy? Get him to fuck off. Gracious always wins. Kill him, beat him. Valiant defeat high. Oh man, I really just want to auto resolve this. Um. I'm sort of stuck because I kind of need to. Kind of need to fight it. Um. That help? Alright. Could I win? Um maybe. Probably. I guess so, yeah. I guess we could just win it. Seems like a lot of work. Savage nomad. Get him! Beat him! Arsis of the Cleaver! Got more. No, no, got more. Right, and then fight it? Yeah, well, that's definitely an option. Anything else? I can. Any other scams we can pull? Mm, no, I think it's pretty much done now. Um, Yeah, this is going to be rough. Now, let's give it a crack, eh? Um, yeah, we're going to have that same problem with Drazoth again being kind of invincible. Um, and I don't think we're going to have to pull him. We're going to be able to pull him out this time. I don't think he's got much in the way of ranged units, which is one really good advantage for us. Plus, of course, we can, you know, blow his walls down and stuff.
I'm kind of thinking we set up. Um, oh, actually, we can set these guys up wherever we want because they're invisible, right? Set up our ogres over here. Might set up these guys there. So, because if they come through here, they'll be in massively, you know, ch choked together, and then they'll probably um, dread quake them just as they come on. But yeah, they seem to always like to wait until your reinforcements come on, and then dread quake them. Sorry. Alright, let's start um Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh no, I left. I was a little bit. Oh no, that was good. Yeah, took out like sixty percent of his unit. Suffering your jocks. Dries oath. Oh, here we go. Oh. Damn it. It was a little bit too slow there. That's good, though, because at least that means when this big pile of units comes on here, I won't be able to do much about it. the door but I can't damage the units I don't think I don't think it'll actually do any damage to the units it'll just uh, blow the door oh did some of them oh the entire unit fell through the roof and died like pretty much 90, 96% exactly that was nice alright gotta watch out so we're gonna get another um, mortar blast in a second Yeah, maybe if we wait here long enough, we can just kill them all with, um, with artillery. percent of those guys about right, two ogres waiting to come on trying to wait for this mortar oh, here we go Give me some more dwarf warriors for breakfast. Oh yeah, destroyed, 100% casualties. <laughs> That's pretty good that thing, isn't it? Just wait till they take up position on the walls and then nuke them. Noblar trappers are really good, yeah. 
Just even normal Noblars, I feel like they hold the line pretty well. They seem to be a good complement to the Ogres. Oof, 50% damage. No blood stacked with the wind. Yeah, we were, um, well, hopefully we can destroy a quarter of their army by just blowing up walls. I was waiting for one more Dreadquake, I thought, but I don't know. It must have, must have come and gone, I guess. Maybe while I was watching the walls get blown up. Unless they're weirdly waiting for uh, my reinforcements to come on before they deploy it or something. Blap. That's the rest of them. Playing the Noblar Kingdoms, yeah. Get, what's the best way to get in here and uh, get this done? Oh, bring these guys over here for starters. Let's see if I can. I think we can get some more of them to go onto the walls if we jiggle it around. Here we go. So maybe we can just try and get up close to the walls and then start dropping some spells, maybe. Ah, oh, yes. Seventy percent gone. Glorious. these guys would be able to bash Draz between them. Maybe. Oh, nice. Is that... Oh, okay. That's not great. He's actually using effective spells against us. That's a good hit. Nice triple bounce. One more. Uh, I wish that had gone over there. That would have been pretty good. Pretty busted up. I mean, if I move, if I kind of go left to right, maybe they'll st we can get some more to go on the walls.
I did some good damage with these spells. Ah, bounced the wrong way. Yeah, maybe we can just... I might just send um, all the uh, stealthers in that side. And we'll send all the non-stealthers in this side. Shot by the blunderbusses. Tyrant of tyrants. Alright, let's do it. Why can't we go through those? Recess on it. Throne bearers, no. It's a struggle. Struggle town. The mortal. Oh, I should have used it on that barricade. Yeah, he's probably going to drop some big, um... Oh, he doesn't actually have his... He doesn't actually have his big AoE spell yet. Which is lucky for us. Oh, 
debuff, buff ourselves, heal that guy. Oh yeah, Drez is going down quick. It's nice. We drop this barricade so we can get our melee into that. <clears throat> Lid bellies are fun to use. Um, somebody was saying how they're a bit crap though because they um, they kind of knock everything over, but uh, if they don't kill it, then it kind of gets knocked over, and then the second volley doesn't kill it because it's invulnerable from being knocked over. Um, which is interesting because I yeah they I feel like they're not lead bellies are, are fun. But then I feel like that is sort of correct though they. Don't, they don't feel as effective as they seem like they should be, you know? Um, but yeah, they're pretty good at destroying single entities, like especially large single entities. Where's me master? Anything for the boss? When do we eat? Nasty flag! Greasus gold! Done. All right, nice. Well, that was, um, I think our patience paid off there. Decimated their walls. Maybe I like ogres for sieges after all. That was pretty fun. Might have to be patient and just see how many units I can destroy with the wall, with the wall ability in future. This is a uh, early game ogre army with uh, ogre bulls and uh, noblars. We're um, hopefully going to transition into sort of mid mid game ogre army at some point. Lure enemies by by climbing up with noblars and sacrificing them all. That's a good call, actually. You could probably not even have to sacrifice that many noblars because you could do it while they were still climbing up the. Um, you could do it while they, excuse me, while they were still climbing up the thing. Greedy fist. Big Bellower. There you go. Oh, God, slew a master. Slew a master. The great moors. What's that from? Chaos Corruption. Yeah. Um. I feel like seeking ingredients. Emissary of the moor. Grace us the shockingly obese. Led by the moor. Master Butcher. Trade Lord. Tribe Stealer. Hold Master. A doomed recipe. Hmm. Consume. Moore's 
Reason, Mate Rachel, Master Butcher. So many new ingredients. Consume. Butcher in chief. Master of awful. All right. Um, we've got a fair bit of cash out of that, and we've um. Built up our cash reserve, so our um, our war efforts should run a little bit smoother now. And yeah, if we do want to go for Grimgore, then we're kind of it's kind of working out quite nicely here. We've just kind of been able to, without really stopping, just gone bang, bang, kill Gorst, bang, kill Kugath, smash, smash uh, Drazoth there, follow up. And now we're swallowing up Drazoth. And then if we want, we can just cruise back in here and take out um, Grungor as well. But um, that might be, you know, it might not be as easy as it sounds. Hmm. I'm special. I wonder if, um, so us paying off Grimgore to not kill us. Oh, no, he's got another aggression there, yeah. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Ella. Yeah, the Ogres is going pretty well so far. We're still in the kind of early game rush phase at the moment. We haven't really started getting um, higher tier stuff or anything. We're just um, just running around with our low level shit at the moment. Looks valuable, I'll have it. Boss of bosses. Arses of the Cleaver. A fine tool of butchery. Moore's chosen. If it means butchery. Carve and grind. It will harvest many ingredients. Make ritual. So how many settlements has he got now? Two? Yeah. Wish we could keep him as our vassal. That'd be sweet. But yeah, we don't have. Um, yeah, it doesn't. We don't have the option to vassalize him, unfortunately. It'd be so cool to have a dwarf front line. Hey, man, I'll put... Yeah, I'm good. Hopefully everybody's good. Uh, Shattered Stone Bay. It's got wood. Uh, maybe I'll go... Sh mm. I'll go Dread Rock, actually, because that's where the... That's where the... Um, rebellions are happening. National holiday tomorrow, so three-day weekend. Oh, very nice. So Nobler Country, Nobler Country actually doesn't have any trade goods in it. So maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just. Maybe I should just keep Ruin's End. Ah, uh, but now it's. Hmm. It's gonna kick off soon.
Bounties should have items or give special units. The bounties give items or money. They don't give special units. Though. But you can get items from them. Tyrant of the tribe. Whatever I decide. Alright, I guess we are good for now. Nope. Already peaced out on that one. I'm going for a new coffee strategy today. Normally I have one one long black and one like extra long black with like two long blacks in a really big cup, like a 750 mil cup. But today I'm trying, I'm just having two long blacks, two normal long blacks at the start. And then I'm just gonna drink water after that. So we'll see how that goes. I reckon this could be my optimal, optimal energy versus energy per caffeine level but that oh he's still there okay um okay um must feast yeah, so I pushed him back into range of that one. And then... The magic of me! The savage nomad. I know of hidden paths. We can force march over... I mean, we can uh, destroy this guy. Now is the day of butchery. And <clears throat> ogres use and learn from every faction. They have a lot of potential units. You mean with like the man eater mercenaries that go to each different different um, race and kind of learn from them and stuff? Yeah, I was sort of disappointed with the man eaters because, like, I'm, I mean, there's not much else they could have done. Um, but, like, they sort of, it's like the man eaters should be, like, all different, um, like, styles. There should be, like, Cathayan man eaters and, like, pirate man eaters and empire man eaters, and, you know, like, with, and each one should take on the clothing styles and stuff of the, of whichever race that they, um, they've been mercenaries with. Um, I think that's kind of like the idea of man eaters. So, really, like, the man eater squads should be like a mixture of all different looking mercenaries, maybe, or there should be different squads from different places or something. Um, but yeah, but they sort of just decided to, I think they just decided to sort of average it out and make all the man eaters look like pirates. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to see maybe later on they could have like more variants of man eaters so the the current man eaters could be like swashbuckler man eaters or whatever and then they could have another unit that's like empire man eaters or, or something like that um yeah the most the man eaters like wear their own clothes but depending on like so if a man eater has gone and he's lived in the empire for a long time and he's been a mercenary mercenary in the empire for a long time, then he'll have mercenary style plate armor and like those fluffy pants that the that the empire has and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it's, they they sort of had to compromise a bit with the game, I think, and they weren't able to really fully represent that. But you know, such is life. Didn't they switch how Bretonian knights are more diverse now? 
Sorry? Oh, what do you, I don't get what you mean, sorry, main output. You mean they made them more graphically individual? Oh, what the? We just like one spec out of range for replenishment, or what? The over tyrant. I said move. Move it. Protected by the ever valve. Oh, black. Yeah, fuck off. Oh yeah, I didn't. Yeah, well, whatever. No, no, no so I got mixed up with the names. I'm like Darkhold. Oh, that's right, isn't it? But no, it's Black Black Fortress. So I was like confused. I was confused. The more asks it. All right, this guy has got the ten percent technology. And you will feast and um and we'll um we'll disband him. It will harvest so many ingredients. So it'll continue to give us our ten percent research increase. So the more lords we level up, the better off we'll be. Someone's messing with our land. Faction ride wide raid raiding income. I don't know if yeah, I don't know if we really need that. Income from tariffs, 50%. Income from tariffs 50%. That's global, I guess, right? Shit. That seems actually pretty good. Um each they made each model more diverse in terms of colour, etc. They represented out of each and each night as an ind different individual. Oh really? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I didn't uh, didn't really notice that. I feel like um, I feel like Britonia really just needs like they need more heroes. They need like a deal another DLC. Did did the um <clears throat> yeah the Rapunz DLC the oh, the Rapunz was a free DLC right? So she didn't add. Wait up, was Rapunz a free DLC or a DLC? I think she was a free DLC, so she didn't actually add anything to Britonia. I think Britannia needs like a proper DLC. They need to get one or two extra heroes, like new types of heroes. And um, and yeah, maybe a couple of new units and stuff. Yeah, she was an FLC, so they didn't get anything new. I feel like Britannia the whole time, like ever since Britannia started, they've just felt like this sort of budget faction that just hasn't got as much interesting stuff as other factions, you know? Um, like they've, not that they've always been weak, but they've just always been like kind of boring, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but yeah. That's kind of how I felt about it. I don't know if I should build up Shattered Stone Bay or not. Yeah, I guess I should. Everything Britannia is FLC, yeah. Britannia is like a free faction. Um, I wonder if that's like a... something that they intended from the start just to make Britannia a free faction. Doing it for the fans and all that. Alrighty, uh, so yeah, we'll put these raiders in this area now because raiders in keep, increase camp growth in the local um, local area. Tyrant of the tribe. And oh yeah, we're gonna build this up as well. We're getting to it pretty broken now though.
We need to um we need to conquer more stuff. I don't know if I should hurl you into the fires of Vol's anvil. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if uh, Imric's ever going to be a friend to us. Um minus 25% aversion. So maybe we should just, you know, go to war with him now. Basically, I either go to war with Grim Im Imric or go to war with Grim Grimgore. Excuse me, I'm sort of thinking maybe go to war with Imric first and then go to war with Grimgore. Hopefully by that stage Grimgore's wire will have worn out. Might be a bit easier to deal with him. <laughs> Gimbrick. Gimbrick. Indeed. Unbreakable Nobla units. Nice. Our, our Noblars are all unbreakable now. It's pretty cool. They chose to do it after they didn't get Bretonia ready for launch of Total War Warhammer 1. Hey Ava, by the way. Um Yeah, is that was that confirmed, was it, that it was they were intended to be um they were intended to be out there at release, but they didn't make it. Fight them both at the same time. Well yeah, then that's that's the obvious the obvious solution. Uh, they don't have any mortars anymore because they, um... Because we destroyed their mortar. Might fight this one manually just for the hell of it. They, uh, they, okay, cool. Yeah, and was was it the same deal with Chaos Warriors as well? Or no, no, Chaos Warriors was different. With, oh god, it's minus that all battle. Oh god, I keep forgetting like when it because whenever you, whenever it's a um a factory, it's automatically a minus settlement battle when you're fighting against Chaos Dwarfs, and it's like yeah, I always forget. Um, that's okay though. It's fine. It's even better. It's not that bad. Yeah, I think Chaos Warriors... Well, I think Chaos Warriors originally were meant to be just like an enemy, but they weren't meant to be playable. But then they ch they ch decided at some point to make them a playable faction instead. Um, and that's why they were noticeably heaps shitter than all the other factions. Because um, they just... I guess they just weren't as thought out. They weren't as playtested, you know? Whereas all the other factions kind of played reasonably well but the whole like horde the idea of the chaos warriors was just i don't know like like they obviously put a bit of effort into it and they ch they chucked in a few cr cool ideas and everything but they obviously hadn't had a chance to thoroughly play test it to find out that it sucked you know like um yeah and it was like it was uh, it was unfortunate because there was I, I can see that they had a lot of interesting ideas there it's just that that you know all the ideas that they had just didn't happen to be good ideas you know um but you can't really know that until you've had time to test them out and, and stuff uh, but yeah the new version of the chaos warriors is brilliant though of course um the only problem with the new chaos warriors maybe is that they're so powerful it's a little bit over the top
Ele não é Lads? Um, oh, that's not my theory, Benji. That I thought that was just what they actually said. I thought that was just, like, fact. I might be wrong, though. I might be misremembering it. Um, not that they never, like, not that they never intended to make Chaos, like, a, a like, Sorry, I didn't mean that they never intended to ever make Chaos Warriors a playable faction. But I'm saying in Warhammer 1, I think that they they had intended Warhammer, them not to be playable in Warhammer 1. But I think then they realized that, you know, they had so many assets and everything, they may as well make them a playable faction. But, uh, but yeah, that's not a theory of mine. I thought that was just something that they actually said was the case. But I might, I might be wrong. We're getting this guy down a little. This tough little cast dwarf brick won't die. Our, um, our Chaos, um, our Chaos Warrior is one of the most popular in tabletop. Well, I guess, were, were, were they one of the most popular in tabletop? I mean, I only really know of my own, like, I never really played tabletop of uh, fantasy battles. Um, I did collect some fantasy battles miniatures. And the fantasy battles that I miniatures I collected were Chaos Warriors. So as far as my experience goes, 100% of me played Chaos Warriors. Um, Skaven were the top one played. Really? I find that extremely hard to believe. Maybe in tournaments. Do you mean in tournament tournaments? No, I would have assumed because like, yeah, I don't really know about fantasy, but um, I would have assumed that um, it would be sort of like 40k, where Space Marines are like very much the most popular, um, most popular in terms of um, collected. You know how many models were bought. You know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can understand if you're talking in terms of tournament battles played for sure. But yeah, I think like tournament players are very different from like uh, the average player. Call me over tyrants. Like I think to a degree with tournament players, it's like whatever whatever's codex just came out most recently, and so therefore is the most overpowered, is the most played in tournaments, you know. Not that that's the only the only factor, but you know. But I, I just trying to illustrate that you know I feel like that would be different from most collected. But yeah, but you're saying most played, so yeah, that makes sense. Skaven, eh? So you reckon do you reckon Skaven were the most played because they were the most popular, or because they were the most OP? Skaven were OP on tabletop, yeah. Hey, Tix. 
Um, Skaven are pretty cool. I don't know. I can't really imagine wanting to paint Skaven and stuff, though. Here for the 28th like. Nice. Thank you for the 28th like. Much appreciated. Skaven were OP in Necromunda. Skaven were not in Necromunda, Club Monkey. You're talking about Mordheim? There was like scum gangers and stuff like that in Necromunda, but in the tabletop. I don't think they made it into the um, computer game though. Anything shiny is mine. Oh, Mordheim. Are Skaven really good in Blood Bowl? I guess Skaven are pretty good in Blood Bowl. They're good at like fast touchdowns. Run, they're a good running game. I don't think they're very good throwers. I don't think I think they nerfed throwing, didn't they? So like no one's really good at throwing. Even high, even high elves that are like the masters of throwing aren't really that good at throwing. Slower master. Oh, us rest. They serve. Or they'll be served. Warriors today, ingredients tomorrow. <laughs> ingredients tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Blood Bowl's awesome. I really want to play some Blood Bowl. I wish I could somehow figure out a way to make Blood Bowl popular so I could play it and, you know, play it on my stream and, like, level up my teams and stuff. I suppose if, like, if I played Blood Bowl 3 for a start instead of Blood Bowl 2, that would probably be a good start. But, um... I don't really... I don't know. I just don't really like the... the I don't really like the art style of Blood Bowl 3. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I'll try and maybe I'll try and get over it. Blood Bowl 3 is the only Warhammer game you've ever refunded. Oh dear. Looks valuable. I'll have it. Hold master. Uh, I like Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl is probably one of the few multiplayer games that I've actually played quite a lot of multiplayer in. Slaughter master. Harvest many ingredients. The cook master has new more. I'll eat this whole stinking world. All right. All right. Well, a little island kingdom here is developing. Um. Man, I wonder if I should. Wonder if I should like trade. Wonder if I should trade the ogres out into the plains, take all their land. Yeah, see, I don't really want to own any more of this land. I don't think I really want an ally to just protect control that for me like if the greenskins would just stay there and keep owning that north part that would be pretty fine by me <clears throat> i'd love like a really cool immersive like single player campaign for blood bowl that'd be really awesome but yeah i don't think i don't know it just seems like they i don't know they don't yeah, no, the Blood Bowl games just keep, they seem to keep like trying to do the same cash grab bullshit and like, I guess it's because it's a niche game and it's only got a small audience, so they can't really afford to do anything really good with it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, have you ever heard anything about a game that was proper to Souls? Uh, nah, I never tried it. I don't like Souls games. Other Reza, sorry. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not really into Souls games. I'm not really into um, first-person shooters either. Um, 
Uh, I played a little bit of um, I played a little bit of Dark Tide just because it's full 40k, you know. But it's not really my type of game. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes I like playing these games maybe a little bit occasionally just because to hang out with people or whatever. But you know, very rarely. Not it's not really my sort of thing. I just like I mainly just like um, yeah. Total War is like my primary main thing that I like. Um, other sort of procedurally generated, not proce yeah, like kind of procedurally developing games, basically like Bannerlord and Mountain Blade. That's probably like my other favorite thing. And then, um, yeah, tactical RPG stuff like XCOM 2, XCOM 2 and Chaos Gate. It's probably like my other favorite thing. Um, and then, and then there's other stuff sort of below that that I sort of try to get into, but ultimately I never really find it fully satisfying. Like CRPGs and stuff, I, you know, I quite often like, really like them and I really want to get into them, but they just don't ultimately hold my attention for, for long, you know? But anyway, but yeah, but anyway, so yeah, I'm, I've, I've got a very kind of narrow, um, narrow scope of games that I'm into, unfortunately. And yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. All right. But yeah, I feel like I need to, in this campaign right now, I feel like I need to go hard on someone. You don't want to be faffing around, you know? You want to always be, always be charging. You want to find a new target and go after him. Oh, Grimgore has broken his non-aggression pact with me already. But he did, I did just bribe him like two turns ago not to attack me. So I assume that's going to hold for at least five turns, right? Minus 5% upkeep for all Ogu units. That's pretty sweet. Bring me ingredients. Alrighty. Um, I wouldn't mind making an alliance with Tretch if we could make some sort of deal so he doesn't backstab me. Fear me. Yes, yes. Uh, he's not fear really digging me, is he? Then tremble. He hates all my allies. Uh, that's okay. We'll just um, we'll just control this area over here, but we won't really build it up or anything. We'll just use this as sort of like a. Mm, actually, actually, no, I don't even really need that. But I might, I might sell that. My... Teachings. Hmm. Yeah, I might take over these lands and sell this stuff to Iron Dragon as well so that it's his problem. That could be the way to go. Is anyone Dark Hold? Western provinces beat you a warm welcome in most places. 47, yeah, so we could take anything we wanted for that. Hmm. Yeah, we sell all this to him. That means we can just go up here and go after Grimgor. Master Butcher. Um. Do these that we don't, you don't ever get any more money from these from technology or anything? No. Hmm. I am the tenderizer. Yeah, Valley of Horns, we've got a quest and we get 11,000 gold if we take it. So I'm kind of thinking that's what we should do. Lay out my cleavers. Oh shit. There was a battle. <laughs> there was a battle there that I was supposed to fight. Whoops. Um, yeah, that's right. Um, 
So yeah, I think I'll take Blade Rock and Nobbly Gorge. I understand there are important matters to consider. 39, 39, all right. Um, you have a key mind. Now we'll give him Dark Hold in exchange for Flayed Rock. And um, since we've got military access, military alliance, yeah, no, nah, they don't have that. That's right, Bro Brozo. They don't have that mechanic. Blood Bowl 3 is stable and has updated rules, but still missing some teams. Yeah, it's still missing some teams, but the thing that I don't like about it, like, apart from it, the thing, they're missing some teams. The thing that I don't like about it is, like, I'm interested in the new rules. I think the new rules are not bad. The Blood Bowl 2020 rules, I think, are okay. Um, but I think the old rules are cool as well. Like, I like the classic Blood Bowl rules as well. Um, the, the, the Blood Bowl 2020 rules, they've attempted to sort of even things out and make it more fair and shit, which... I don't mind, but I also kind of don't mind it being all fucked up and unfair as well, because I feel like that's just, that's Blood Bowl, baby, kind of thing, you know? Um, like, some teams are just meant to be shit, you know, and it's meant to be random, and so, you know, but on the other hand, I think the new Blood Bowl 2020 rules are kind of better f for more fairness and better, um, better, um, what do you call it, campaign, uh, not campaign, uh, better tournaments and stuff, but, um, but the things that the thing I don't like is I hate how you don't have all of the customization available for free. Like if you buy a team, you should just have all the customization. Like because that's the whole point of playing the game. Like if you're if you're playing like a Warhammer game or like a miniature collection game, like you want to be able to con configure all your little dudes and make them individual and give them names and shit, you know, and whatever. Like and so by making you buy the teams and then making you buy like all of the um, customization options for the teams separately. Like, I just think that's fucked. Or, or, you know, they make you unlock it by playing games and whatever, you know? Like, that shit's just, I don't know. It's just bullshit. It's unnecessary. It just shits me. So they've tried to... I think they tried to ameliorate that a little bit by... Like, they tried to make that not so bad by giving away more free stuff and making it easier to earn the customization options and all that. But, like, I don't know, it just really put me off because, like, I want to just get the game straight away, go in, get my team, customize all my team and have different faces and all my guys and stuff, and then start my team like that, you know? Um, and that's what I was used to from the previous two games. So, not being able to do that in, in Blood Bowl 3 really put me off. The other thing that I really hate in Blood Bowl 3 is the art style. Like, every Everyone's all like kind of tall and skinny in Blood Bowl 3. Um, whereas in Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 1, everyone was a bit more like chunky and tough looking, you know? Um, and yeah, like the like the Chaos Minotaurs and stuff, like they used to be like really mean looking and now they look really tall and skinny. Um, and oh, and the dwarfs, it's mainly the dwarfs, bro. Just, I can't deal with the new dwarf art. <laughs> it just totally puts me off massively. So yeah, so unfortunately, I don't think there's anything that they can do about like my problems that I've pers my personal problems that I've got with the game. I don't think they can fix those. So I think I might be just permanently not going to want to play it, which is sad. <clears throat> Slow. A fine tool of butchery. The monster, yeah, the Mornfang monstrous cavalry. Um, yeah, they mentioned they're meant to be pretty good. I remember somebody was um doing um, I don't know if you call it doom stacks, more like crap stacks, you know, like cheap, effective kind of stacks. But I don't know how they're not really that cheap, though. I don't think. <clears throat> The over tyrant. My recipes will grant them power. The more asks it, 
a fool's errand. Butcher in chief. Slaughter master. Oh, we only got 6,000 gold. Um. Yeah, the crushes are even better, but they're even more expensive, yeah. But you might have to come back and remind me in two or three days because I won't have the capacity to build them anytime in the next in the next few turns. Um Dragon blooded. Attention. What? General. I greet you with the dragon's authority. I accept. Lord. Celeste, it is my sacred duty to natural authority. Hey, King Tut. Is he bad? I don't know. Jury's still out. I'm having a bit of. I mean, I think ogres in general are not very strong. But I don't know. I kind of feel like. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I kind of generally prefer Scrag to Greasus, but um, I might just do this so that we've got. So we can do uh, global recruitment up here if we want to. 5,000 gold. I am the tenderizer. Or should I get ogres? Maybe we need more ogres. How many ogres we got? This will bring me spoils. We've got nine ogre units of ogres. Hmm. Chosen. They will what do these cost me? Mm. Yeah, I might get three more ogres just so we've got some ogres. What's keeping Ogus from being strong? Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's what's not strong about them. I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the same question as you're asking. Really, what's what is it that's not strong about Ogus? Um, no good archers or anti-large. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. But, I mean, I think just spamming bull ogre bulls early is pretty good. Um... And, like... Uh, actually, I don't know. Do you reckon one ogre... If you had, like, one uh, one unit of ogre bulls and one unit of, um... of, um... high elf archers, like, who do you reckon would win? How many volleys do you reckon that because high elf archers have 180 range right so how many volleys and uh, ogre bulls have 50 speed assuming they're on flat ground how many volleys do you reckon that archers would get into them yeah so like assuming Assuming they uh, they couldn't kill more than half the unit of ogres before they got into melee, then the ogres would probably still smash them even with only half the unit left.
Mm, yeah, true. And ogres and um, high elves have spearmen as well, <laughs> which are um, pretty good against ogres too. Yeah, high elves are probably a bad example because they've got there's elf, high elf spearmen and high elf archers are the two things that ogres hate the most. <laughs> hey, Redden, guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Every anything can beat ogres, even guinea pigs. No, no, I don't Lord know. Tail. That is not musk of fear. No, no, musk of strength. Good, good. It's not musk of fear. It's musk of strength. Good call. More head skulls. Uh oh. Actually, do I want to go to war with them? Because if I do, they might attack. They might send sea boats to attack me. Uh. No, actually, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Because I'd rather be allies with Clan Moors than um, than with um. I'd rather be allies with Clan Moors than with these boys. Proc guns. Uzaba sepugi undrin hashats uves. Tarwanungi Juanrak. Sula! Consume. Emric. The meat. The boss. <laughs> you dare approach a lord of the Dowie? All right. Let's get into a heap of random wars. I'm not sure if I want to get at war with Azag. Maybe I want to be friends with Azag. Child of the Nine. Oh yeah, I could get a war with um. Get a war with Nakai. For sure. Wow, two point nine k. It's glorious. You're in spearmen, and uh, one unit of ogre bulls would eat one eat one unit of spearmen, maybe. But would two units of ogre bulls kill one unit of spearmen plus one unit of archers? Instrument of the divine. Oh hey, yeah, what happened to um Greasus's iron guts? He used to get two units of iron guts. Now he only gets one. That sucks. I think I got mine dead though. Storm Dragon. I'm a schemer. We likes an uninvited guest, don't we, lads? Good plan. It's gonna war with all these random factions. You may look upon me. I right. am unstoppable. <clears throat> well, fixed our economy. We're just going to war with everybody for money. Flayed Rock. I guess Flayed Rock is the most defense, most defensible spot in here. Bring me ingredients. Ogre Bullsworth. 137 per turn. I mean, that seems pretty good. 137 per turn. Where spearmen are 125, uh, basic archers are 119. Yeah, like they're not too much. I mean, two units of Ogre Bulls would cost more, yeah, but not much more. Like, uh, thanks for the vampire guides. Oh, no worries, man. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, I'd rather have an army that costs, I'd rather have an army that costs 15% more. But won the but won the battle, you know, than have an army that cost fifteen percent less and lost. 
Master. It's like with Grumbrindle. Like, originally, I used to always go with the Grumbrindle um, buff that gave you the upkeep reduction. But now I always go with the Grumbrindle buff that gives you the bonuses to your um, to your melee and ranged stats. Because it's just, it's heaps better having an army that's like a fucking unstoppable beast army than it is to have an army that's slightly fucking cheaper that still that loses. <laughs> you know, like, it, you know. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, I mean, we seem to be doing pretty fucking well in this campaign, so... I don't know. Maybe Greasus is not bad. Shit. Yeah, I was sort of hoping that they weren't going to declare on us. But they did. Here we treachin. Exactly. Greases' iron guts depends how much supply lines you got. then well i guess we better not go after um grimgore speed actually yes speed oh no it's personal speed isn't it is it army speed or personal speed i think it's army speed i mean i think it's personal speed so it's not it's no guts bigger. there's no settlement here is there no there's no settlement there fuck how much of his stuff has he got hmm Um, run out of food. Um, crap, crap, crap. Trade Lord, Tribe Stealer, Hold Master. That is unfortunate. March or into the pot. Burning wind, searing flesh. Spoils here. Meet Rachel. Smart plan, this. Blood boils into a rich broth. Yeah, hopefully, then we won't be able to. Hopefully ambush won't worry us too much. Do not believe the slander about me. I am my father's most honorable. Mm. Ancestors, watch over us. Should I take the scent? Should I take Haunted Forest back again, maybe? I am open to assisting your ends, so long as they do nope. not obstruct mine. Hmm. 
Oh uh, yeah, I don't play camp. I don't play vampire as much. Um, Skiddy tw Skittle Twister. Um. a fair bit of income by selling sentinels maybe that was a bad idea Once we get our next camp, that'll be a big help. Um, I just, I was a bit greedy by putting two camps down. I should have put one down and then kept the other one as my mobile camp. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to. Biggest gut in the land. The heat kills many ingredients. All right. Let's see how we go. I wonder if Trich is going to be able to come after us. Grimgore is probably going to come into our um, into our northern territories pretty soon. Copy's good. So yeah, maybe I'm allowing myself to be distracted by um, Tretch, but... No, Oga can beat me. If it means butchery, we rest, we feast. Ogres, stomp on! Butcher in chief. Bring me ingredients. All right, let's see. Hey, yeah, I'm on YouTube and Twitch. On Twitch, yeah. That jiggle. Oh, we got quite a few people on Twitch tonight. Hey, welcome, Twitch people. That's awesome. Mm. Um, maybe if I move this guy out of the way, do you reckon he'll be able to get into range if I move this guy out of the way? I feel like he will. Oh, beautiful. All right, cool. So we'll get Greasus to go in. I think if he fights the battle, then I can, then he can get the um, the meat. Greasus is Which will be good for us. He's only got 22 meat. Big auto resolve here, I reckon. Um, I don't think I did promise that, Eliriza. 
I remember discussing it, and I think I maybe I said it was a good name. I don't remember promising to write, to, uh, to to name it though. Maybe I'm misremembering. It is a good name though. Um It is a good name, true. Um Yeah, it should be a pretty easy fight. Um So casual medium pyrrhic and casualties medium sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, ogres aren't too great in um ogres aren't too great in um siege battles, but um I mean like in terms of their new units and stuff, but that's um that's uh siege ability they've got to blow up the walls make does kind of equalize it a fair bit. I feel like we could almost just run in and take out this first army straight away as well. But I suppose we should wait for our reinforcements. Oh, actually. Actually, actually, while we're here, we can... Um, Smash these, um, you can smash these units of, um, Menace Belows and get more, um, food from that as well. The yeah, that's what I was saying, well, John. Well, it's the problem with Ogres, they don't have a good range, like, so. Like, if you've got a lot of ranged units, it's really easy to choose the sieges, but you can't do that with ogres. But ogres have, um... But yeah, ogres have that special ability to blow up units on walls, which you can exploit pretty heavily. Look at all this food we're gonna get. Um, yeah, so I think we, I think the meat that you get for ogres is based on captives, and I'm pretty sure you get captives from Menace Below, so if we want to sit back and just, like, look how many points we've got maxed out on this already. Um, so if we just want to sit back and soak up the captives from these Menace Belows.
No, yeah, that kind of makes sense actually, because their because their individual entities are pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be interested to try that out, John. I just want to kill. Uh, I just want to get lots of food out of it. Some of them melted. trying to basically just get as many kills as we can on routing units. As we can. Anything left we can swarm together. No blast attack. 
my chum looking for me. We're done here, I think. Off we go. Come on. I ain't no dobo. No blows attack. Crush him. Grease us gold tooth. Dinner. The strongest. The fatty. Take it all. I reckon we got a fair bit of food out of that. Off we go! Ogre's attack! I reckon that was a pretty good... Pretty good food haul. We should get another heal out of it, hopefully. Bring us me. Wait, ah, watch. crap! I didn't block them properly. Crap! Should have got more food. I left food on the table. scurry away yeah i think even though even still though i think we got a lot of kills like a lot of captives after they routed especially over this side and like early like as early on we got almost those three or three or four of those uh, menace belows we pretty much captured the entire pile so that was like you know probably like two or three hundred captives just there before the battle even started and um we had like heaps of guys killing routed stuff everywhere um so yeah i don't know i think we did all right maybe with the captives. And we could try and get one more heal in maybe. Kill this, uh, kill this assassin. Morlock of Mordheim. Well, wow, maybe we faced him on the battlefield. Maybe get one more. Probably not. slow on him as well come on we gotta get this guy get him Eat him alive. 
My tree very sharp! Gracious gold! Nah, I got away. Alright, that was enough. Alright, come on, how much food did we get? Surely we got a lot. So we killed about 2,700. <clears throat> 20 food, last offer. More time crossover stream, yeah. Okay, we got we captured 4,400. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we got five food initially, which I think is based on the like gold value or something. I'm not sure what that's based on. But then oh, we don't get any food because it's not a field battle. Crap. Mm. If that was a field battle, I think you get one food for every 100 captives, is it? Something like that. So we would have got like 44 food, I reckon. I think it's something like that. Bring the best meat to me. Slaughter master. We got rotted. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some tyrants actually for just for fighting. Um, I like to level these guys up early because they once you get them to level seven, they get the tech plus technology, and technology is really good for ogres because you unlock your um, camps more, camps faster. Plus, you can get the growth on them as well, so you can be like raiding in your own settlements to give growth to your camps and give growth to your actual settlements. So it's kind of cool. Plus, you can also get. Um, bone crusher and you know get a caster basically but once I've got one of these guys in my battle group then you know like so my ideal group for this would be probably one of these guys Greasus just because we've got to have Greasus I guess and two probably two tyrants then I have like these two really tough combat heroes because yeah tyrants are tough but I've sort of, yeah, I don't know. I've sort of ended up with. I suppose we could switch one out right now. Keep the level nine one, the level eight one. Got the technology unlocked already, so we we replace him. We don't respec him, and then we can bring back in one of our tyrants to start leveling up. Oh, I got more preacher. Yeah, this guy. Uh, he's uh, see, he's more of a recruiter. Oh, Flabby, this guy, yeah. 20 armor and 15% mass. Ogre tyrant. Oh, actually, no, Farter's the one you want. Gives you the speed. Speed and campaign movement range. Oh, mine! Hmm. Actually, nah, I might... I might respect him. Daddy, you know. Strong's good, I guess. More preacher. Yeah. yeah, the more preacher, I want to keep him as a. Yeah, we didn't really get very many good traits to be. Let's just go strong, I guess. For a thug. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Melee attack plus four for lords and embedded heroes, including himself, right? So he gets plus four melee attack, but he also gets plus four melee attack for all others. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I mean, it's not that cool, but it's sort of cool. Plus four melee attack for all of my, um, like, hunters and stuff. Ogre tyrant. Bull mallet hands. Um, yeah, it works when they're not on the field. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just so I'm just leveling up to turn to level seven, and then I'm kicking them out. Gracious, this shockingly obese. 
Leader of the tribe! Ogres, stomp on! Hungry! Always hungry! Yeah, we really need the, um, we really need a temporary camp. Fuck. Uh, I can't really afford to get rid of this one now, but yeah, just so, yeah. So just don't, as in the case of like, do what I say, don't do what I do. Um, yeah, once you, um, what do you call it? Once you get, um, your first camp down, maybe keep your second one as a temporary camp so you can keep dropping it and picking it back up again. And that way you, um, it seems easier to manage your meat. Um, but um, what you, another thing you can do is just um, get rid of Greasus. So, like, if we just recruit a new lord here, um, oh, he's only got one meat. Oh no, he's got fifty meat. Yeah, we I mean, just recruit a new lord here, and he'll have fifty meat, and we can just switch uh, all of Greasus's army into that into his army. And then just respec Greases out. This and then he can come back in three turns. So you, you've always got that option, like when you take a settlement, to just switch out your meatless, most meatless dude. Jesus. It's a lot of it's a lot of lovely jubblies. Oh, here we back in three turns. And then we'll have fifty extra extra meat out of it as well. Plus thirty, yeah, plus thirty percent. That's not even in his that's not even in his line. Like then we got another fifteen percent there. And then we got another fifteen percent there, so sixty percent. He's already got nine point one k health, and we can still get another thirty percent on top of that. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. And then what if we get get him um, wades through? He gets regeneration as well. Get bloody and yeah, monsters indeed. These guys get double as well, but not as much as those guys, but yeah. <clears throat> Obey me! I'm having a break! I am the Tenderizer! It'll happen! My gut is law! Stomp on! I'll eat any challenger! Move! Ingredients first. The council is, is disappointed. Ogre tyrant. Hmm. No, blame you, you. Ogre Hunter. I'm the boss. 
We could, um, I could temporarily get rid of my raiders. We don't really need them anymore because they've already hit tier three. Um, let's go to level six, five, five. Mm. All right, none of them are getting re none of them get a research bonus yet, so we can respec them out. That way, they'll be back in three turns. Um, so yeah, that just reduces our um, growth a lot on our camps. They're just going to go back to normal growth. But um, gives us a nice um, lovely view of our faction leader. Yeah, just his big fucking chicken leg that he's eaten. Tyrant of the tribe. What do you want? A treaty pact? Betray me first. I gnaw on your bones. Merchant peace out with him. I could like build a bar like build a um bleh, build a barracks here. And then um Yeah, and then we could peace out with him and take all his money and then just go after Grimgore. I don't know. Reckon, maybe? Hmm, we'll think about it. I wonder if he's, I hope he's not going to be able to ambush any of my armies there. But it should be okay. I can always retreat. Um, you guys want to trade with me? Um, I mean, sure. Yeah, we're going for tribal gathering anyway, so that's fine. Um, Ula of Makas, Ek Udi. Against council order, want everything. Um, oh my. address me as Lord Tretch the Very Brave, then we talk titter. Eighteen thousand. Are we at war? Um, am I at war with, um, yeah, I'm at war with, uh, Karaza Karak. Crap. Yeah, yeah, I'm planning to have back, yeah. Um, I'm just examining my options. I probably shouldn't have gone towards Karaz or Karak. Because they're not going to want to... Um, then, but I make no oath for the they don't want to peace out with me. Never. 
that wrong. Hmm. We're going conquering. Tear you apart. And then cause I said so. Going in my gut. My gut is law. So only the main army get food and others don't, I guess. Your dinner. What the fuck? All right. Well, apparently we have to fight it. Um. Tear you apart. Consume. Going in my gut. I'll have you. Do it. Oh, who's um? Blah, blah, oh, Gutmore. Um, should I get take Gutmore on him? Nah, he probably doesn't need it. But it's Bone Chewer, Whiskey Chugger, Bog Falcon. He's got this. He can solo this shit. already got got more just on armor um, uh, tricksters oh, perhaps siege breaker oh yeah we can give him uh warrior bane and oh, he's got warrior bane already uh actually melt these down maybe get another gut more come on no uh oh we've got two channeling staffs now pretty good um I'm boss and that's that Old mallet hands uh, uh, what do we give him I'm a fortune um, you can melt down these two. Obsidian blade. Sure. You got some decent greens and whites. And these lads. No one else touch it, Master Butcher. All right, this guy has got. Mm. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Armor of silver steel.
Crown of Command and Book of Asur. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Grut Sickle gives you 16 to 33 and 40 per second. Vin Rod gives you 16 to 33, 0.2 per second. Okay, cool. So it's like a double, a double E is good for Vin Rod, basically. That's pretty good. The cook master has you, my. So annoying we can't get um, proper food from no um, from siege me. battles. Your dinner, leader of the tribe. No, oh, now it reckons we're gonna win. Mm. Try this. He is a fine lad. He's a very fine lad. Do the thing where you put the banner from one army on the reinforcing one. I don't know about that thing, I don't think so, is it? What's the, uh, what's the point of doing that? for their um, menace blows. Get the food. Oh, we can't get the food actually because we don't get any food. It sucks. The ultimate hunter. More competition. I know, I wish this was a field battle. This would be like food for jam. But uh, apparently not. Oh, what? Oh, is that? What happened there? Did that miss? Oh, I must have clicked on the invincible tower or something by accident. That sucked. Was that the tower, invincible tower that people were talking about? It's bugged. But look how many captives we already got. We've got our heels all ready to go. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right, this thing has got wrecked. We had a bad time. Firebelt is pretty awesome. This is rat just got punted over there. Oh, these are pretty cool. All right, we'll try the try the gate. I don't think they're centered enough to get 100%, but 
It might only be the oh yeah, it might only be the um dwarfs where you can do that where you drop them through on the cow's dwarf farm. I say cry, cry. Even though it's it just says it's full. This actually keeps filling up more and more, right? So we should never run out of captives, I think. So I might try dropping some heals on some units rather than saving them for my heroes. <clears throat> Oh, that wall's indestructible. Ganked. Oh, all that wall's indestructible there. That sucks. All right. Um. Yeah, so... Yeah, the tower is not indestructible. Mm. Fort tower, 12,000, yeah. Fort tower. This fort tower doesn't have any hit points, but that one does. So I think we can destroy that. I don't know if it makes any difference. We don't really... It doesn't really matter if we do or not, I guess. But we may as well. It'll probably save us a few casualties on the way in. Lord really quick then we don't have to worry about their magic because hopefully we can we can get him before he gets more than one spell off and we gotta oh, we gotta kill this guy as well he's got plague and he's got oh that's oh he's a cast he's not a caster lord all right so we just gotta kill this hero it's pretty good ability um, especially if their walls aren't indestructible unfortunately these walls are indestructible but it'd be pretty sweet if we could blow up these ones but um, we can't. Steroid Shatterstone. Yeah, the tower's invincible, but the entire wall's invincible as well. So yeah, it's pretty suck. I wish we could blow that guy out. I wish that guy had been standing there when we blew the wall up. That would have been cool. Alright. <clears throat> oh nice, he's down off the wall. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're a bit armoured, the, um... A bit too armoured, the, um... Do it. We are fully committed. looking okay so far. Where's that caster? Did we get him? Or I don't think we would have got him. I didn't target him. I don't know where he went though. this thing do just do it don't need attacks oh, it only works on siege and vehicles and buildings Fireball just went through them. Oh, we had a wince, yeah. Um, we'll use that again once we get a chance. Recharge our wins. Lord's nearly dead. Um, yeah, the burning head was nice. Um, I don't know where our. Um, I don't know where their caster is. I, I'm hoping he's dead, but I didn't see him die, so I don't know. I'm trying to kill their lord because, um...
So yeah, this usually is, um, does damage, but it, um, but this guy's got regen, so hopefully that evens out. Trying to kill this lord so we can get the extra leadership buff or debuff. Oh, there he is. All right, let's um, we'll send the heroes out to kill that caster, and we'll just stick uh, one unit of ogre bulls on them, on him. Um, oh, actually, this guy needs to just come over here so he can drop another non-overcast fireball, fire burning head. Sorry, on those guys. Yeah, it should make them uh, a bit sad. Where's that caster gone? Oh, no. oh, there he is. It's him. Got sound, boys. All right, we'll just uh, heal these guys. Rip out their throat. Biggest in the tribe. Biggest in the tribe. My cleaver is sharp. Mate for me! Killing time! Crusher! Banion! Car for me! Tribe on the moon! Very oh, nice. Um, yeah, so I don't think we need to actually... I don't think it helps us really to kill these guys. We might get more money or something, but that's about it. Hey, is there Randy? Thanks for that. Oh, we got, what are we, we got a raid from somewhere? Oh, Roundy's raiding with a party of five. Oh, well, welcome, thank you. Welcome, Roundy. I don't actually know um, Roundy's channel, but um, we'll do a shout out to Roundy anyway. I think this is like the second or third time you've hosted me. Thanks a lot, Roundy, appreciate it. Just chuck a, chuck a little, little round out and I'll, uh, I'll uh, follow you as well. I, maybe I'll get a chance to check out your channel sometime. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, appreciate the hosts anyway, man. Maybe get one more heal in. Top up our hunter a little bit. That's a fun fight, yeah. That's a good little fight. I think we managed to spread most of our damage. Um, the ogres did some pretty good work. Especially since the ogres were fighting against um, anti-large spears and halberds and stuff for quite a lot of that, so they did alright. Yeah, a few losses, but a lot of the losses were amongst our ogres, unfortunately, but... Two rattling guns and high tier anti large infantry just deleted instantly. Yeah, that was uh, it was a good lucky start. Yeah, I think that's definitely better than the Pyrrhic victory or whatever they were going to give us. But yeah, unfortunately, again, see, because it's a, it's yeah, it's a bug that they've had for ages with um, settlements where you get screwed. Anything that has like um, anything that has like the. Um, 
the blah, what am I trying to say? Anything that has like the currency, some sort of special currency that's based on enemy captured, it used to always get screwed whenever you would do a settlement battle. Like if you're playing as Nurgle and you would get like hardly any infections from a settlement battle, but if it was a field battle, you'd get heaps. If it was slaves from Dark Elves or Chaos Dwarves, you get nothing from a settlement battle or hardly any, but field battle, you get heaps, you know? Then they fixed, they sort of fixed it for, I think like for Dark Elves and Chaos Dwarves, it usually is okay now, but but i think maybe the underlying problem is still there it's just like some of yeah they've sort of fixed it for some factions or something i don't know don't know what's going on with it but anyway um yes yeah, so we got only eight meat out of that massive battle and we don't get the opportunity to sacrifice for more meat either so it is what it is oh we could we got a gut more though which is sweet regeneration armor so eventually we'll just have all um, hunters on stone horns and we won't have units anymore. And then it'll be, and Lel will have gut, regenerating gut moors and then it'll be fine. That's how we'll solve the problem of getting screwed out of our, um, getting screwed out of our, uh, our stuff. Um, so. Before the Grand Chieftain of the Deep Warrens. Mighty impressive title, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, that tyrant won everything. Slaughter Master. Tyrant. Follow the boss, tyrant of the tribe. Consume, tyrant. No one else touch it. I don't. I can probably. F no time for supper. So we give Bonechua um, a full stack. This guy's got a full stack. And then we'll recruit a new lord that'll just get a free 50. Get a free um, 50. Free 50 food. And. Um, This guy can just have a rest. So if our food's still good, so yeah. So basically, you know, every time you just take over a settlement, you can just switch out a lord to get your food back to 50 again. So it's uh not you know not ideal. Later on, we'll be able to drop camps, so we won't have to worry about food. But um, at the moment, we've got to do this sort of orgy version. <clears throat> that works pretty well. Um, which of the any of these abilities good? Um, eruption does the twenty five damage AOE, fifteen meter radius. Flame incarnate does damage reflection. Fire breath. Hmm. Hmm. They are free, so yeah. The only problem is the fire bellies aren't really tanky enough for you to want to have them in um, in combat. Which um, should we just make him a melee a melee god, or should we give him a boost for the whole army? Or should we give him fat loots? I can always respect him later. Merely God, indeed. That's that's what I chose, and more damage. Oh my!
Bask in the moor's delight. Moor's chosen. Get it done! Alright, hopefully we'll get to keep these guys for a while. Um... Yeah, I mean, army boost would be good, but in general, the way I want to use the tyrants is... Mm, yeah, I guess so. Well, uh, yeah. So the majority of the tyrants, I guess, I want to use them as solo heroes, kind of, I guess. Um, but yeah. We could, yeah, we could recruit some more troops, but I feel like we already got a double. We got already got two and a half stacks. Any more than that, and it's starting to get a bit ridiculous. It's like too expensive, and we can't kill enough stuff to be worth it, you know? Guess charge bonus. I know these are all pretty shit traits. Uh, don't really. I don't think we really need immune to psychology because don't they? Um, do they cause terror when they're on their mounts? Oh, maybe they don't. Right up. Stonehorn causes terror. Yeah, they cause terror, so they don't really need immune to psychology. Um, Even make one come us. I guess Big Daddy. I don't really care about control on these guys. Plus 10 charge bonus. Why not? They do get a really nice charge attack, so. The ones that give us Nobla is unbreakable. That's a big name. It's not a um it's not a um trait, I don't think. <laughs> Bug Falcon Whiskey Gulper. He could um he could definitely solo the rest of the campaign for sure. No, but um but one of my other ones does already. I got one in I got I got the trade already on one of these guys. everything. Oh no, that's not it. Butcher in chief. Unbreakable for Noblar units, all units in army. There you go. Pretty cool. The council is, is disappointed. Follow the meat. All right, let's dish. um. I don't know. Should I kill my way through? Should I keep keep killing? The boss. Oh, I feel like I should have checked some more things then, but oh well. We'll figure it out. Perfect vigor on a stone horn. Yeah, true. Did um did somebody get perfect vigor? Or is that a, is that a big name? Well, that's a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Rating. There's some raiding going on around this area. <laughs> um, that's alright. Um,
Get moving. Obey me. Find me, Luke. No, that's me. Talk then, but I make no oath for the surety of your life. All right, let's see if we can. Uh, see, I kind of want to bash this as well. But I suppose if we don't bash that, we could just force march towards Grimgore, which could be good for us. As my siblings would do. All right, let's see what cheese we can do. Mighty witness might have Clan Rectus. So just give him a Crookback Mountain. Be be. Can we give him in return? For, oh, we can't take Mount Silver Spear because it's his capital. Crap. Um. Crap. All right. Good, good. And Crookbrook Mountain is worth 43. Um, actually, how, how much will they just give it for it flat out? 10,000. Yeah, I mean, you can't go, you can't argue with that, can you? Alright. You you guys have it and just enjoy it. Hopefully, um I and Dry and Dragon's still at war with him, so he might actually take him back. Um but yeah, but then that that allows us to force march these guys. Reasonably with a reasonable degree of safety. So we can go after um go after Grim Gorsus. Cunning, oh, your cunning is not bad. Ogre hunter. And we can still continue to, um, we can still continue to, um, you know, recruit and replace. Someone better keep us sweet. Four thousand eight hundred and six thousand. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll pay for itself eventually, I'm sure. Tyrant of the tribe. Something's leg. Um, uh, how much were we looking? 16, we want, yeah, 16. Um, that's cool, we don't really need that right now. Uh, let's just get the extra 20% upkeep reduction on the camp. It's already Do pretty cheap, say. anyway. <clears throat> I can't believe we still haven't got a Noblar chieftain, been really unlucky Tyrant. with that. Stinking world. Seven turns till we get another camp. So yeah, I think the other ah, oh, it's so like they my greed, you know. I always want to just get more camps and more camps, you know. But um but yeah, it is um always hungry. 
So it's just like every time we get more, build more camps, we get plus eight percent faction wide income from all camps. You know, it's pretty crazy. Um, but it's really nice just to have one. Like it's really convenient to have one camp spare that you can just drop down and pick up all the time. Um, but on the other hand, it's like, you know, it's costing you a lot of money to do that. So it's like, ugh, ugh, I don't know. Like, I highly recommend having a spare camp that you can drop and pick up whenever you want. But it's so convenient and it makes your life so much easier. But it is, yeah, it's just a massive amount of money gone, wasted. So, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. But anyway, I don't have to decide right now. I've got another seven turns till I get my other, my other camp. Check these guys out. They're just raiding here, permanently raiding. Because they're afraid of that siege. Trich, fact, Trich AI gets faction buffs for breaking diplomatic treaties. AI is probably not smart enough to exploit that. Um, yeah, no, I don't, don't think he's going to do that. Um, it'd be pretty cool if he did, though. I mean, just it'd be, it'd be an interesting development. It'd certainly throw my campaign into a bit of chaos. With the Empire. You stand before the Sigmar's will. Me. Words. I'd really like to um, make peace with um, with um, Karaz the Karak. I don't. I didn't. I wish I'd never I declared war on them. Kind of. Now they're never going to forgive that grudge again. Probably should really get rid of one of these In armies. In yeah, maybe I'll get rid of one of them. I'll right, we'll see how we go. All right, so we'll run over here. We'll punch on with Grimgor in a second. Join war against? No, I just I just left that war. Cool. Dwarves never forget. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon ogres really should get a um, an ogre brawler type character, like a tyrant, a mini a mini tyrant type character. So yeah, we're just definitely going to go after Grimgor.
Alrighty. I once slew a frost drake, the savage nomad. I smell glory. Should I start recruiting? Uh, I don't know if I really want to recruit, um, I really want to recruit Gorges, um, mm, yeah, you reckon Gorges are good, I don't know, they're kind of expensive and, hmm, don't know. No blows. Oh yeah, fuck, I should have just had that extra camp. I can't remember when I, what level I was that I unlocked that. I think it was at level 15 you unlock it. Um, crap, I really want this extra, <laughs> this extra recruit rank. But it's alright, it doesn't give us recruit capacity, it just gives us recruit rank, so it's not that big of a deal. Upkeep skills. Uh, no, I just wanted the plus one recruit rank because I'm going to recruit a bunch of units with him. gobble up Grim Gorsus. Should be fun. Um, I 
Yeah. All right, cool. So now we've got our spare camp that I was talking about before. Um... So, like, I could drop this camp right now. It'll cost me 2,000 gold. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Hmm. Alright, I think we're good. Hmm. I hope, oh, hope Grimgore doesn't get the jump on me. He might... To quickly declare war move before I'm ready. That would suck. <laughs> um, upkeep skills, yeah, upkeep skills can be good, especially if you've got like a really big upkeep reduction already, like on on a high high value unit. Like with a Lithanar, if you're recruiting like Shadow Walkers, or um, with Grimgor, with Greases, if I actually had Iron Guts, like, because you already get like a 50% reduction on a fairly expensive unit. So if you reduce it by another 15%, it's actually like a pretty big chunk. But yeah, kind of like I was saying with, with Grumbrindle before, in general, yeah, in general, I think, oh, uh, no, I don't know. I don't really have a general rule, I guess. But yeah. Ever since I kind of had that realization with Grumbrindle, I kind of had that same kind of thought that it's better to have a stronger army than a cheaper army. Most of the time. <clears throat> Legend would probably have a word to say about. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, that what I just said was a generalization, but I was sort of saying like, yeah, I mean, it's it depends on the situation. But yeah, but I think I've definitely come around from to my old theory was just it's always better to make everything cheaper, whereas now I'm like I don't know if that's always true. Sometimes it's better to have a stronger army. Must face. The EFA, he might just decide to rickroll me, and I won't be able to do anything about it. Over tyrant, Greasus Gauto. You lot stink in this heat. Over tyrant. Um, I don't know, I might just risk it. Too rich to walk. Um. I said move. Because, yeah, I mean, I just recruited Grimgore. And, um... I mean, Grimgore is immortal. And, um, I just recruited these these heroes, so they're only level one. But it's not like the end of the world. If we, um... If we lose all that stuff. Ogre tyrant. No, they're just inside. My gut is law. Won't stop till everything's mine. Right, we're pushing it pretty close to the line in terms of money. Oh. 
you want to talk, you do what I say. Am I understood? What was that? I didn't even read that. Tomorrow. Fuck, I knew he was gonna gank me. Oh man, why? Like, ah, no, well, like I said, it's not the end of the world, but. Oh wow, did he lose his. That's crazy, so he lost his, um. He lost his wire army. Um, oh man, I wish I had some magic or some units. I mean, it looks pretty bad, but we can always have a crack. Um, Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I shouldn't have even said that really because it's like any situation, like any, like, like you can easily, like, if you, any, yeah, if you try to make any sort of generalization, you can easily come up with an example of why it's wrong or of how aware it would be wrong in a certain situation, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. But yeah, but to go back to my original example, yeah, I, um, I used to always go with Grumbrindle, I used to always go for the upkeep reduction, and now I always go for the um, army buff, because the army buff is really strong. But yeah, it just depends. Like, with Black Arcs, because Black Arcs already get, like, yeah, it's kind of like what I was saying before about the upkeep reduction. Like, Black Arcs already get, like... I don't know, 70 something percent upkeep reduction. So, you know, so you're only paying like 30% for your, for your units. So if you, if you like beeline for blue, if you go for blue line straight away and get a further 17% reduction on top of that, it's fucking amazing. It's ridiculously crazy good. It's like reduces your army cost by more than 50%. So in that situation, you know, it's a lot more, like it's a lot more like oh maybe i should go for the upkeep reduction um but yeah so it's like yeah you, it's like any sort of general anytime you generalize it's always going to be wrong in a lot of situations but yeah but yeah all i was trying to say is like yeah but instead of always going for upkeep reduction i i tend to you know be a bit more nuanced about it now but having said that i tend to go for blue line quite a lot Although part of that is just because I want that extra 5% campaign movement range that most factions have as well. Did you just cast something on me?
Um, I really wanted to... I really wanted to smash that gobbo, but... We're all falling apart. The mortal. The quarry is mine. Run for it. Over tyrant go. Oh, uh, getting shot. That's why he's getting fucked up so much. Yeah, I wanted to try and get onto those gobbos, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't get through the because they had trolls and everything, so I just couldn't get through. Yeah, that's a those missiles are fucking lethal on Grimgor. I mean Greasus. If I can try to get him out of there and not die, that would be pretty awesome. Trolls should fuck off. Mm, yeah, a bit too close to the edge. Yeah, I can't do much for these guys. Yeah, we didn't get to capture any captives as well, so we couldn't get our heals. It sucked. Oh, yes. The ultimate hunter. Hunt them down. Actually, we can just back up. Ooh, here we go. Routers. Route for glory. The strong Shit. The fat is over here. Throne bearers. No. Looking for mate, lag me there. Gracious goes. Over here. Over time yeah. going. Done. Gracious gold tooth. Throne bearers. No. Oh, Gracious might have to have a rest. Have a rest, Gracious. Oh, he might get shot before he gets. Oh no, he'll be, he'll be right. He'll make it. Should have sent these guys in by themselves and hit everybody else. No infantry, no, I've got no nothing left at this point. Yeah, in in retrospect, perhaps I should have sent these guys in by themselves, kept everything hidden, everything else hidden, and then um, go from there. <clears throat> well, I was warned. I was warned. Uh, Vasily said, I was phrased it this way. There's a certain minimum power of specific tools that you need to have to deal with most regular situations. The minimum depends on your faction race. As long as you have that, you can do whatever else you feel like. Uh, sure. I feel like that's kind of nothing to do with the question, though. The Well, the, the, what I was talking about, I don't know if like anyone else is talking about the same thing, but what I was talking about was just kind of like, in general, is it better to have a stronger... Like, is it better to like invest three points in your skill tree into making your army stronger or making your army cheaper and yeah i guess my end my end result was you can't really generalize but um but yeah there was a time when i would have said always go cheaper um but now i'm a bit more like depends <laughs> and maybe leaning more towards stronger The depends, yeah. 
Because like if you can make your units 20% stronger, then you could have 20% less units in your army and it would be just as strong kind of, you know? Um, so that might be better than making your army 20% cheaper, you know, or what, you know, whatever. I guess that's, that was what I was getting at. Uh, I think I'm busting the toilet. Sorry, back in one sec. We'll see what happened with the whole Grimgore thing in a sec. Yeah, it's just, there's so many different situations. It's, yeah, I think, like, yeah, generalizing is almost useless. But it's like, oh, here he goes. So we lost our camp, but we kept our heroes, so I guess that's cool. Although, in retrospect, I probably would have liked to have put my units into my, into Greasus's army so that, um... Be cool if they were at war with Grimgore. Sign what you call sign before I claim. No, they they're not in it. Unless <laughs> indeed. Slaughter master. All right, it's pretty cool that he's um that he, it's pretty cool that his war just ended like that turn. It's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, what's this quest? It's to sack or raise, right? Sack, raise or sack. Yeah, I've always got to remember to actually do the thing because I always um like you know occupy it instead of sacking or raising it. So yeah, hopefully we can remember to do the correct version. Tyrant must feast. <laughs> Ollie, your whole army. So, how close do you reckon I can get a camp? Conquest. Like, probably there. Is that the closest you reckon? Oh, God, Tyrant. <sighs> It'll make me legendary. Bring me something's leg. So in general, yeah. generalizing yeah. is wrong. Yes, that would be my um Oh yes. That would be my standpoint. You're going in my car. In general, generalizing is wrong. Let's smash him up, boys. Oh, we got a gut more on him. Yeah, let's get a. I forgot about that new gut more that we got. That's nice. Greedy fist. Oh, yeah. Enchanted, uh, don't really have anything good. More spoils, nice and shiny. Oh, 
All right, vengeance. So we just have to remember to sack it. Must sack it. Oh, we could just go auto resolve, auto resolve for glory. But now nah, I feel like we need to get revenge after that. That last uh, punishing defeat. Always sack it, indeed. Well, if you want to get the quests anyway. But yeah, I think I, I kind of feel like we aren't going to have much trouble with Grimgore because I've um because I've gone pretty overkill. You know, we're gonna we've got nearly like three full stacks on him. Then we're just gonna roll through his territory. I'm pretty sure, um, especially because his war just ended. So I don't know, like, um, who is it? Is Bad Miracles? You just started a campaign and you decided you were going to rush Grimgore, right? I don't know if you're still there, but yeah, I was interested to know how many turns it got you to meet him. How many turns it got you to finish him, and also whether he'd wired up by the time you got to him. Because if you can rush him before he gets his first war, then yeah, maybe that's good. But I feel like this, what we did was go away from him in a circle until just the very turn that his first war ended. And now we're going to be able to roll through him, I think. So I feel like this is maybe a pretty good method. But, I mean, check back with me in five turns. If I've ruined my whole campaign in five turns, then maybe it's not. But, um, but yeah. Hey, Devish, can you simply explain what is Warhammer? I'm thinking of installing it. Um, well, I mean, I can show you what it is. <laughs> We're playing it right now. If you want to keep watching for a while, you'll see what it is. Um, but um, have you played Total War games before? It's it's a total it's a total war game but with the Warhammer world. Um, so the cool thing about I guess the cool thing about Total War Warhammer is that you have these kind of real time battles where you can zoom in and see every individual soldier on the battlefield. These guys are all characters. They have level, they can level up and get skills and stuff, and they can also be equipped with powerful magical items. But on top of all that, you can play on a campaign map, kind of like Risk where you control different territories and you build different stuff and get resources and everything. And the two things interact with each other. So if you fight a battle on the on the battle map like this, then your armies will be destroyed. Armies will be destroyed on the campaign map. And if you build stuff on the campaign map, you get to use those armies and fight them into in the actual local map in the battles as well. So I don't know, that's pretty much the gist of it. That's what it's all about. Never underestimate Grimgore. Okay. Well, we haven't actually met Grimgore yet. We're just fighting his underlings at the moment, so... I'll try not to underestimate him. Are we getting regen on this guy? Yeah, cool. <clears throat> Alright, let's take our, uh, our big army, our big heroes in and just smash them in the face with those first. And we'll try and get lots of captives. <laughs> Dash aside when he charges you. Stronghold Crusader 2, I think that's a really old game. I think this is much better than those, but uh, it's quite a different game though, I think, as well. Um, game of Thrones is um, a series of books. <laughs> so, I don't know, and unless you mean like one of some Game of Thrones computer game. I don't think there's been any good ones though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just think, I don't know. I just suggest you just install it and try it, Dervish. <laughs> That's like, I don't know. 
I can't really explain it any better than I did, and I'm showing you what it is right now. So I don't know if you want more information than that. I feel like you're gonna have to just play it and see whether you like it or not. Have you? You already? Are you already own it? I assume, yeah. If you already own it, maybe just try it out, and then you know you'll know whether you like it or not. I'm trying to chase this lord, but he's just running away from me. This is going burn, oh burn, baby, burn. Start with Wyoming 3 to us, yeah. Wyoming 3 is the most up to date and best one, and it includes all of the it includes all of the other three. So if you've got one, two, and three, then Wyoming 3 includes all of the content from first one and two and three. They all join together into one massive big map with all like with like hundreds or well, over a hundred factions in I think or 90, 90 factions that you can play or something. There's like so much variety and yeah. But yeah, no, just go straight to Wyoming 3, I would I would recommend. Crunch their skulls. When do we eat? Attack. Still have it. Um, oh yeah, also, um, you should look up the Total War Access website and um, register on it because there's a heap of free content that you get with it. Free characters, free factions, free heroes, free units, free mounts. There's just all this free shit that you get from um, just from registering on the um, Creative Assembly's Total War Access website. So remember to do that before you um, play. Oh, and also if you go into Steam, there's heaps of um, free LC that you can get as well. So you just go into Steam and all the free DLCs, you can just select them all and download them without having to pay any extra money. There's a lot of DLCs that you do have to pay for, but there's quite a few free ones as well. And all the free DLCs from game one and two and three, they all can be used in Wema 3. But um, some of them you need the base race. So like if you if there's a free LC with like elves or whatever, you need to already own the elves to get the free LC kind of thing. Just bought one, two, and three. Oh, you bought Battlefield one, two, and three. Oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah. If uh, like I'd recommend that you just buy Wemma three if you want to try it out. Just buy Wemma three only, and then. Um, but you can also get a bunch of other free stuff before you buy any more DLC. But um, but yeah, that'll give you a good idea of whether you like the game. And then you can decide if you want to get more stuff after that. But um, but yeah, they often have um, really good specials. Not um, yeah, we can get most of the stuff for like fifty percent off and whatever. Probably not Warhammer three. You might only be able to get that with like thirty percent off if you wait for a sale. But but yeah. So we get some more heals in here. We've still got heaps more captives worth of heals to get. Try and herd these guys around the map. 
for 78 seconds. We'll get one more heal. Remember when we won as Empire recruiting 20 armies of spearmen and auto resolving anything? I think you could probably still do that. I don't reckon there's too much that two armies of spearmen couldn't beat in the early game. But I suppose two armies of of um I suppose two armies of uh, archers would be just as good and they'd be probably a bit better for they'd be better for cheesing sieges and also there's that bug with the huntsman that apparently gives them extra damage like a crossbowman. But I just I just hate archers. It's just a problem I've got. One stack of Chaos Warriors. I love Chaos Warriors. They're so cool. I love Corn Chaos Warriors as well. I, the main, I uh, mainly use Chaos Warriors, I guess, playing Corn. I use them the most. Playing um, either Corn or um, Valkyrie. I use them a fair bit playing as all Chaos Warriors, I guess. They've patched the auto resolve since Wemmer 1, so it doesn't fail at favor melee defense numbers as much. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Uh, I never knew that melee defense was like overpowered in auto resolve. Somebody told me it's mainly um, arm, like armor and morale are the two two most important things. Um, but yeah, I mean, all I think all stats do factor into it, like armor, morale, melee attack, melee defense damage armor piercing damage all that stuff but um but yeah somebody told me that it doesn't factor in um it doesn't factor in um oh sack it <laughs> just gotta remember to sack it woohoo we got our eleven thousand gold and we got plus plus a hundred camp growth for five turns it's pretty good 500 camp growth. Anyone want to challenge me? I played with Hot Wheels like that in that formation. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Devesh. In terms of pure power, armor, and missile DPS. Hmm. Gracious. The shockingly outplays. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that tyrant! Slaughter master. <laughs> An abundance of fresh meat. All right, so yeah, so, so what I sometimes do is, if I'm just going to drop down a temporary camp for a couple of turns, is I build this, and then um. On the second turn, so next turn it won't do anything, but the turn after that it'll give us heals in battle. So we can potentially use that on well on that battle, and if we get ganked, we can use it as well. Um, on boss, and that's that. Tribe lord, it'll happen. I'll eat any challenger. Boss of bosses, tyrant of the tribe. All right. I am the tenderizer. Oh, check this out. Satan has been recruited by um been recruited by Iron Dragon. It's pretty crazy. Oh, the tyrant. The over tyrant. All right, I might um, yeah, might respec him out, and just um, put Barula gets foot drag. 
And, uh... Oh, mine! Get it done! Hmm. Uh, do I want to s trade this to anyone? Maybe. Leadership doesn't increase your auto resolve weight, but it massively it drops it massively if it's reduced by any means. Oh, like like um, legendary difficulty giving you a penalty. There's Grimtop. Oh, yeah, over here. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we'll take Grimtop. Oh, man. Now I really kind of want to put a permanent camp up because... Well, actually, that's not a bad spot for a permanent camp, is it? Because it's guarded by Valley, it's guarded by, uh, Valley of Horns. So if we do kind of want to keep it, it's not bad. It's not in a bad spot. As long, yeah, but I'd want to take some more of these settlements around here. <clears throat> oh, we've got new, um, new quests. We'll oh shit, I could have accepted that. If I'd taken that before I fought that battle, I could have taken that one as well. Um, hmm, bummer. This camp growth is actually pretty good, isn't it? Eliminate Nakai the Wanderer. He's really far away. Raise a sack World's Edge Archway. Uh, uh we'll take we'll take this one. I wonder if that'll get cancelled when he um if he gets killed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to finish that one. Got bigger. Um, I don't really care about any of these. Oh, perfect vigor when mounted. Nice. And we got unbreakable for Noblars on this guy as well. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't like that we've got five units here, five armies here. Um, so this guy can, if, yeah, if they have another army come in, they can like weirdly attack. Like if they attack this guy, um, yeah, like, see, I like if, yeah, if they attack, agree. Um, yeah, if they attack this guy, then it's going to take the settlement and miss out on this full stack. And if they attack, like, settlement, I don't know, whatever. Oh, restless. We should be all right anyway, hopefully. Hey, Michael. Perfect figure. What do you mean, Grimgore? I mean, Greasus. He is a fine I figure of a man. That is true. I'm the boss. Hmm. 
tyrant of the tribe, biggest gut in the land, the boss. Ogre tyrant. Should I? Yeah. Should I go for group? Should I actually do this? Yeah. Fuck it. All right. Let's do it. Oh, we've got plus 100 growth anyway, so that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, at some point I should build an Iron Guard army for Greasus as well. Name of power, perfect figure. Is there a name of power called perfect figure? Or you mean like a... Or you mean Ogre big name? You talking about... Dark Elf name of power or, or Ogre big names? I'm not sure how I feel about these, um, this... I'm not sure how I feel about this horde of, um... Dickheads running around in my back line here. We get a non-aggression pact with them. I just, I don't really want to have to go back and I don't have to want to make that. I don't really want to have to waste movement on them. I want to go forward. Throw a feast in my honor. Tyrant of the tribe. Consume. Ogres, stomp on. In charge. Must feast. The chop house so waits all who fail me. Dug up. Meat ritual. Want everything. Happening because I said so. Move it. Want four armies? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. I'm the boss. Moors chosen. What alone, Ogres? Tyrant of the tribe. Tyrant decides. On your feet. Carve and ride. Over tyrant. Greasus governs him. Obey me. March. All right, cool. Um, and um, yeah, My these guys are still inside our cool. range. And next turn we're going to have heals as well. Um, I don't know, should I build here or not? I think so. Fuck it. I'm going to pay these guys for a non-aggression pact for 2,000 gold. Um, hopefully they're not as unreliable as Grimgor. Ten thousand gold for go to for tier four. Um, cool. We better get onto that. I would like to get some tier fours so we can get some uh, lead belches.
Oh, what the? Bro. Hey, my color. Oh, dear. Uh, sure, defensive alliance, whatever. Um, so I think that Grimgor just jumped over. Motherfucker, he just jumped over him. Like, bro. Like, General. Bro. Oh, no, it's he, it's this army. Right, right. That's fair enough, then, I guess. Obey me. Get out me head. What's that garrison like here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we got a bit of a garrison there. Belches plus Mournfang cavalry. No ogre can beat me. Do, do you mean like that Mournfang cavalry and lead belches go particularly well together, or just? Master Butcher, follow the meat stench. Hold, Master. Open. Going in my gut. Lord and in charge. Yeah, it sucked. Make yourselves at home, boys. Grey fist, very nice. Just in general, both super fun units. Yeah, I'd pretty much agree with that. Um, this is a real pain in the butt. Because um, I need to recruit shit here to stop these guys, but then I also need to leave stuff here to stop those guys in case they go this direction. And uh, yeah, it's generally just a real pain in the ass. Um, uh, this army would be able to stop them, right? What did it uh, uh, maybe. Consume. Maybe. Consume your mess. Well, we set we set an air bit of a uh, bit of the old ambush trap here, and hope that that works. I can't believe that um, Iron Dragon let that army. I am the greatest. Oh, he probably went after him, so he probably didn't have a chance to stop him. <laughs> Bone chewer, whiskey chugger, bog falcon. Uh, needs more. More health, I think. No one else touch it. Tyrant. Too rich to walk. Find me a feast.
boss of bosses. And what else are we doing here? <clears throat> More spoils. Nice and shiny. Get it done! Someone better keep us sweet! Should we get Wolfert in here? Or should we get a Tyrant? Yeah, we'll get Wolfert. Slower, master. Master of awful. Save that for next turn. Meet Rachel. Oh fuck! We only got one regiment of renown. It doesn't that doesn't make a huge amount of difference, is it? Ugh. Morgate level tier three. <laughs> yeah, I think I miscalculated a bit there. It's what I want. I wonder if Grimgore's got any interest in piecing out with me at all. Whoa, let's have you then, Ollie. You... Hmm. Dunno. It's probably not worth it. We should uh we'll just take uh yeah, I'll just take the loss. Biggest gut in the land. Oh, This will do the trick. Uh -uh. Master Butcher. He the boys uh, if we could get him to attack him, um, my might be helpful. Try it, Lord. Try it, Stalor. Master. All right, what do we got? Leader of men. Peace treaty with oh, carries a crack one space. Beautiful. I am the high king. I agree. Proving yeah. death. Yep. And non-aggression. Yep. I am a warrior of the dragon. I greet you in the name. I hope you. Wind shape. Gaze upon the glory of the Supreme Empire. You drive up. Storm Dragon. Oh. Celeste. The Dragon Blooded. All right. We're doing okay. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to lose this settlement potential. Uh, this settlement potentially this turn. But um, you know, it is what it is. Even me won't calm us. Alright, see what's gonna happen. 
So I think red, I think the Iron Dragon goes first. So, ah, oh, you prick. He didn't help me. He's going to go for this settlement, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't see us winning this one. Uh, probably should have, I probably should have geared him up. Is there anything we can do to, like, stop pump wagons from wrecking us? Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some Monfangs and just smashing stuff. Especially if we were fighting against like dwarfs or some other infantry faction where we can just run over them a lot. Um Lead Belchers are a fun unit, but I don't know, I found them to be I don't know, a bit like unreliable or a bit like I don't know. Like they're a bit like artillery in a way. Like they're kind of glass cannony. Um you have to, like, keep him really safe. You're inaccurate as fuck. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, that's probably about accurate. Um, it is pretty cool when you shoot, like, a... Um, it is pretty cool when you shoot a single entity, though, and they just get, like, blasted. All right, I'm going to try and get over here and hope that all this, like, tr if we could... I'm sort of thinking if we fight in the middle here in this terrain, that could be good because it could just mess up all their chariots and stuff. Or maybe we should even fight in the trees. Because they've got, a, I think they've got a lot of chariots. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they've got four units of chariots. So I feel like probably even fighting in the trees is the way to go, right? But fuck, I don't know. We've got a lot of low, low. Um, we've got a lot of low leadership noblars as well. Um, so I mean, fighting so close to the edge is probably a bad idea. Hmm. Too much stuff. Oh, 
Yeah, too close to the edge. Fuck. Mm. Not looking good. Yeah, I kind of thought we were going to lose the settlement, so I guess that's okay. If we lose the settlement but we win the war, then I guess it's okay. Nice blob now. Hopefully Wolford will still survive. He'll be able to retreat from that. And hopefully they'll just um, occupy the settlement or sack it. And then he can initiate and kill this army next turn. I don't mind losing the settlement, but if I but if this army gets loose in my back line and I have to send armies back to chase it down, then that is the worst case scenario. it's worth trying to fight this I mean I don't think I'm going to win but um, I wonder if it's worth trying to damage him a bit good turnout tonight i was uh not really expecting to get too many people watching the stream today but um but yeah it seems like we've got quite a good good turnout got uh, like nearly 80 people on youtube and like 45 people on twitch that's pretty awesome so thanks thanks for coming everyone welcome um yeah right so might try and get a
Hoplons! Nasty plan! We Zoga mates! Killing time! Ah. Take it all! I ain't no gobbo! Crush em. Off we go! Alright, did a little bit more damage. If I throw off my clothes, maybe we get more people. I mean, well, you can luckily only see me from the head up, so probably wouldn't do too, too, too much if I took off my clothes. But, um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't, wouldn't help. Just here for the whiskey chugger bog falcon. That's a that's a glorious name, isn't it? <laughs> oh, here he is, the Grim Gorsus. Oh, underway interception. Um. Nah, I'm pretty sure we want to gank him, right? Leave me alone. I'm assuming that if he, I'm assuming he just jumped into range of my armies. No, why would he jump into range of my armies? That'd be stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't care about either of those things really. Where is he? Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, that'll do. Although I wish I kind of wish I had this other army there as well. That would have been better. Um. Stop that. Yeah, so I have to bring this. I need to bring this army back to be able to wipe them quickly and efficiently. We can beat that with that, can't we? Surely. Biggest gut in the land. The over tyrant. We rest, we eat. Gonna be over tyrant one day. No, that's just. I'm a bit scared. I'm a little. I'll, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared of Grim Gorsis. So I might just make sure that we've uh, got, you know, maximum gear advantage. Want everything. Too rich to walk. Bone chewer whiskey Trade chugger falcon. Tribe stainer. Hold master.
belongs to the boss. The Gringorius, the, the green saint. Indeed. Um, oh, should we give... Um, Got it. Tyrant. Must feast. The boss. Graces. The shockingly outbeats. Ooh. Gungor says no. I thought we would have the auto resolve advantage on that. I'm very scared now. <laughs> very scared. Very scared. Um, it's surely this will be easy. Surely. Straight up. Straight up underway battle. No maneuvering. No fancy maneuvers. The sucky thing about, um... This is why I hate ogres. Greenskins just wreck you in early game as fat ass. You reckon? I don't know. I feel like we've got some advantages. But... I just... I'm a bit worried about Grimgor himself just ripping the shit out of all my heroes. Because normally you want to, like, kind of shoot Grimgor with guns. Is the ideal kind of... Method, you know. Um, I ain't no gobbo. Man eaters. Ogre tyrant. What's his speed? Forty two. Oh, is he on a stone horn? No, no, this is he's not. What the fuck? How come he's at 74 speed? What a savage. This dude's like a cavalry unit by himself. A legend. Um, hmm. Uh, nah, it's not an underway battle. It's not an underway interception. They, I had the opportunity to underway intercept him, but I was too scared. Um, so I, um, it was only one army. So now I've got to get fighting with two, one and a half armies, which is a bit better. I've just, I've actually got to go to the toilet, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to pause it here. Um, because, you know, I'm busting out the toilet and it's going to really distract me. Um, otherwise. Uh, it's going to really distract me um, from the battle if I am busting in the toilet while I'm doing the battle. So, what we'll do instead is, for your viewing pleasure, we'll play the um, the Ogres trailer. I'll just get it to be the right size. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the toilet. I shall I shall return. <laughs> And feast on any, any beast, doesn't matter, we'll snack on them all. The stragglers we did consume are dropped in our sacrifice too. They scream and they run, but there's part of the fun, as the ogres are coming to get ya!
Feast on any any beast, doesn't matter, we'll snack on them all. The stragglers we did consume are dropped in our sacrifice too. They scream and they run, but there's more of the fun, cause the ogres are coming to get ya! I didn't actually get to see it because <laughs> I was in the bathroom. I could, can we watch it one more time so that I can watch it this time? Got to get pumped. <laughs> no voice in our ears but the more We waste the sound of its tone We'll thunder and feast on any, any beast Doesn't matter, we'll snack on them all The stragglers we did consume Are dropped in our sacrifice too They scream and they run But there's more of the fun Cause the ogres are coming to get ya <laughs> all right there you go thanks for uh thanks for your patience guys sorry i just had to have a bit of a bio break but um they got me pumped up anyway I'm pumped up for some ogre action I am very scared of getting to melee with Grimgore though. They ate the Sky Titans. They ate the Sky Titans. Yeah, that is true. All right, we got our uh, we got three heals, which is pretty good. Large units, can we waste their ammo? Potentially? Or can maybe um, Greasus can? Because he's a big fat bastard. Mm, nah, I don't think they're shooting at him. He's kind of like bigger than large, isn't he? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Have I got regen on him? 
Yeah, I do have regen on him, but they're too accurate. Like, they actually hit you all the time. Yeah, that's not really cool. Not really, not really digging on that. Hmm. Um. We could try to shoot them with this guy, maybe. I don't know. I think maybe it'd be better to just um, Disco Inferno them and then No, oh, I thought they would I thought that would actually hit more of their stuff than it did There you go All right, this is going to be a fucking mess, but it is what it is. Grimgore's in there. Fuck. Off we go. The more Rejoice in flame. All pray in doom. Volcanic fury. Doesn't look like Grimgore's still actually. Doesn't look like Grimgore's actually gotten to anyone yet. Because we haven't, we haven't seen anybody's health start just being evaporated. So so far so good. Ah, I think we're. I think it's about that time now. Uh, no, nah, it's looking pretty good. Oh shit, Grimgo has found us. People are getting wrecked. <laughs> People are getting wrecked. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Take it all. I ain't no gobbo. Nasty flame. No, you need to get the fuck out of there. You're getting wrecked. Scouting. Seeking prey. Hunting. Chasing prey. The old time. The Volcanoes fight. Nobla. Kill Grim Gorses. Prey. My neck. 
Rex trophy. Slow him down, shoot him. Oh, yes, fattest, strongest, richest. Oh, I froze him. Fuck off. He didn't. It didn't. He just touched the wall just as I froze him, so it didn't count. That sucked. You allied with Grimgore. Well, I tried to ally with him, but he just betrayed me. Oh, I did a non-aggression pact with him, and he just broke it, and then it chucked me. But maybe if I hadn't had a full military alliance with him, maybe then it would have been a bit better. Yeah, I don't know. I um, Somebody, uh, I think Bad Miracle said he was going to try rushing him. And I was interested to see how that would actually work out. Because I think we were quite lucky because I got into a war with him like the very turn that his war ended. So he's basically half as strong as he was like two turns ago. Um, so, you know, there's a bit of luck there, I think. But yeah, basically, I, yeah, I went I went in an aggression pack with him. I took out Gorst on like really early first few turns then took out kugath then took out draz then half took out tretch and pieced out with him and took all his money and then we can we wheeled back around to attack grimgor um but yeah he actually got the drop on me and attacked me the turn before one turn before i was about to attack him but yeah whatever slice him up butchers. Oh, it's actually kind of good that he lived because that means we can attack him again and I can get his trait on Rhesus as well and we can pull... Oh. Oh, I was hoping we'd be able to pull out the garrison, but no. Tyrant of the tribe. Oh, oh fuck off. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to... Put him into oh, camp stance. Gracious, the shockingly and yeah, you get Greases's, you get Grimgore's trait on. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Greases as well. Yeah, I was actually pretty happy with how long uh, my heroes lasted against him that time. Um, it took a while for him to, like, focus them, I guess. I think he was killing our, our infantry and stuff. For a while. Mrs. Mercy took away my drink bottle. I'll just have to drink heartburn medicine if I get thirsty. But yeah, I like how Grimgore is terrifying in melee combat. Good. Do lead belches become fairly accurate once you level them up? I mean, surely they get a lot more accurate once they've got some chevrons on them. Oh, do we get out of range of our... What? I thought we had our... 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, I thought we had our uh, heal. But we don't. Just get these guys to throw their javelins into his face. Fireball. Oh, bro, get out of there. Oh, he's getting wrecked. Grimgore's beating the crap out of the fire belly. Alright, get out of there, bro. You've got regeneration, so. Alright, Greases is going in for 1v1 on Grimgore. Smash him. Bang. Bonk. He bonked him. Bonk. No, uh, he miss. Bonk him. Oh, he missed him. Smash him to bonk. Yes. The flames rise. All right, Grimgorse just went down. We defeated him. Are you playing against a player or just in-game mission? Hey Dervish, it's uh, this is a single-player game where basically there's an, there's all these different AI players that control all the different um, all the different factions in the game, and um, and yeah, it's a yeah it's a single-player game. You can actually play it um, head to head against other players and stuff, but it's not really designed for that. Um, it's not very optimized and stuff. So, but it's still you can still have a pretty decent multiplayer or, or co either cooperative or head to head play uh, game. But there's um, there's quite a really good uh, multiplayer battle um, uh, battle. Com uh, competitive scene where you can just not the whole campaign but just the battles you can just fight against other people in just battles where you have uh, balanced armies that you choose from a list um, and yeah that that sort of thing is quite, quite good um, I, I've played a little bit of it but it's not really my thing although Um Mate. Tyrant of the tribe. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of thinking I don't know. There's something um I 
Oh, what's the what are these fire belly things? Which one do I go for normally? Block move ranger, that's pretty good. Um but no. Extra scouting, extra speed, terror. Cooldown for spells. Sundering attacks. Mm. Uh, hmm. Probably the plus 40 armor is probably the coolest thing you could get on to make him better in melee. Um, because they're pretty crap in melee because they die so easy. Um, they've got all these cool melee abilities, but you can't really use them because they go down too fast. Um, but I'm thinking even with the 40 armor, they're probably still not that great. Intelligent. Yeah, if you get like 40 armor and get tough as well, then they'd have uh, like 95 armor. That could be all right. Speed. And speed's probably good if you want to be a caster because it gives you a bit more maneuverability. I don't know, I think I'm just going to go for the armor. Tyrant of the tribe. Belongs to the boss. Grace us the shockingly obese. Oh, one more turn till it's tier three. Unfortunate. Must feast. Conquest. I'm the boss. Get it done. The boss. Stop on. It'll happen. Um, yeah, I guess we should fight this. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like multiplayer... I had this... I was having this thought the other day that I feel like multiplayer is kind of... <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like neither multiplayer nor campaign really exactly properly capture the right feeling of Warhammer, but... But yeah, I think in... I think like multiplayer is kind of... Better in some ways because, like, what am I trying to say? So, uh, like, I really, I'm, like, I guess I'm really a big fan of the Warhammer 40, the Warhammer 40 Fantasy Battles setting, and the, and all the characters and units in it, and um, and the 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 campaign mode that we're playing right now is much more like immersive and allows you to kind of have more time to imagine and and uh get into the kind of storyline i guess of the of the of the world you know but um there's so much cheese that you can do in um the campaign um and there's so much uh and the balance in the campaign is so wildly off compared to the base stuff that it's almost like kind of weird whereas in a way the multiplayer is more balanced and so it's more like i don't know better more real like more realistic in a way or something i wonder if you could do some sort of like campaign like campaign series of multiplayer battles um how do i attack this without taking massive casualties you can't really what we were doing before of just sitting back and like blowing up the walls we can't really do on this map because they um because we can't outrange them Just go to. Go to from the moon. Do your 
tribe's proud. Kill anything that moves, then eat it after. I'd play multiplayer if I could order resolve the battles, says so Slow Monkey. Classic. I don't know, there's just there's something cool about like having a battle in multiplayer where you just like just say it was like a Dark Elves but two Dark Elf factions, like two Dark Elf warlords had a had a had a disagreement over something and they both sent their household armies, small household armies to fight each other, you know? So they've got, you know, one or two units of cavalry, a few a few archers, and, uh, you know, five or six front units of frontline troops, their main lord and maybe one other hero. And that's what they've got on each side. They're just like this little feud, feud type battle that they're gonna have with each other, you know? And it's like, I don't know, like it's, it's a cool like medieval sized battle, you know, and it's like, and it's kind of like a real, um, I don't know, test um, of the two factions and stuff. And, you know, whereas with campaign battles, it's not really like that. It's like you try to, you try to, like it's all about exploiting the other exploiting the situation exploiting your opponent you know or, or whatever like even if it's against the player even if you're playing head to head it's still it's not it doesn't have that same purity of like having like a showdown you know um it's kind of quite unusual that you'll have like a really even battle you know like you have close battles, but it's not quite the same as having like a fair fight, you know? Anyway. It's not fat, he's just big boned. Indeed. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. Uh, so I'm talking about it from the point of view of like, sort of like storytelling, um, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not talking about like whether multiplayer or single player is more skillful or whatever, but it's just like, yeah, in terms of kind of like storytelling or like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like the same thing, like when you first start getting into tabletop and you play um, and you collect, you know, 
Space Marines or Empire Knights or whatever, and you want you and imagine them like fighting their enemies on the battlefield and stuff. And um, you know, sometimes it doesn't really work out like how you imagined it because like you might go up again. Uh, I can't really think of an example. I'm not. I don't really played Warhammer Fantasy tabletop only. 40k a little bit so i don't really know any examples but like you know you might go up against a certain army that shuts you down you know or like uh you know especially with like spells and like crazy um you know faction-wide army abilities and stuff like that but yeah you so just say you you come up against some faction that's just shuts you down like they've got some kind of magic spell that bog turns the ground to bog and makes all your cavalry too slow and you can't get you can't get any charges off and so your cavalry just kind of mills around and then they you know use some archers to shoot you down or whatever blah blah, blah. The point is like you don't get to have the fight that you imagined you know you imagined all your 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 proud empire reichsguard lining up and charging into the field of battle and you know maybe they'll die or maybe they'll maybe they'll win but they'll have a glorious battle you know but instead it's not like that you know they just they never really even get to have a fair fight at all they just all get shot and you know they route off the field without ever fighting or whatever you know <laughs> like and that, that sort of thing could happen in tabletop as well if you if you don't really understand the rules properly and you've got an opponent that can really cheese the shit out of you you know the same thing can happen in multiplayer as well but but what i'm saying is like that pretty much happens like every battle you know in campaign you know that's what you're trying to achieve all the time like you're trying to make it so that um, well, I suppose you try to do that in multiplayer as well. But anyway, I don't know. I just, I just thought I had that thought that, in a way, multiplayer can be... Like, I usually think of multiplayer as being less immersive and less of an immersive experience because you sort of focus a lot on the player versus player aspect and less on, like, kind of, you know, just enjoying your own little campaign story or whatever. But I kind of just, I don't know, I just had this thought today that, like, in a way, multiplayer is kind of more, like, yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how you really explain that properly, but. But yeah, I wish there was some way to, like, I don't know. I better start uh, trying to focus on winning this battle rather than just getting the shit shot out of me from multiple directions. This guy needs a heal as well. Another flamestorm nerf since yesterday or <laughs> since the other day, disruptor. No to be truly disappointed, you need to know what you want. Yeah, that's that's a good call. No, oh, okay. Oh well, um, it's we still. Go. It still seems to be a very useful spell, um, and I still cast it. Get that point back, 
Hmm. Try to keep these guys alive. Looking for me. I'll smell ya. Getting it done. My next trophy. I will. Oh, my. my blood. Chuck one more heal down. I could probably chuck two more down actually if we really wanted to. Run down the clock, see if we can get one more heal in. All right, now let's see if we can track down that um, other army. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the ogre heals are only single target, but they're nice big heals, which is pretty cool. So after five-ish hours, I guess still fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. That doesn't mean that Reese's is not bad, necessarily. But I'm having fun. Excuse me. All right. So he's inside the settlement. Like a, like a fool. Oh, we've got another unit we can grab. Powder guts. Man eaters. Um, I don't think we shouldn't need them though, should we? Hmm. 
Master of Awful. Now we can just auto. We just lost the tier three settlement. They smashed back down to tier one. Oh, we. Oh. What the fuck? How do we get that? Oh, the. Oh, that's cool. So the greenskins actually took it at tier three. Greenskins have got a special ability where sometimes they can take settlements without knocking them down a level. So instead of them knocking it down from three to two and me knocking it down from two to one, they knocked. They only. They kept it at tier three. So I got it back at tier two. That's kind of cool. I mean, it still sucks that it got knocked down a level, but, you know, could have been worse, I guess. Well, actually, if we wanted to, we could we could go to tier four on Dreadrock Camp. Of the tribe. That'd be kind of cool. Just to have one tier four settlement. One tier for um one tier four camp at least. This old stinking world. Now's the time. Hey, uh, they call me they call me Pringles. They don't actually need territory. Yeah. They don't actually... I mean, yeah, they don't need territory, but um, you can get tier three um, Gorger Caves, which gives you um, plus capacity for hunters. So, yeah, even though you don't technically need territory, I'd highly recommend that you take as much territory as you can and um, and put, ho put hunter capacity in all of them. Um, also, as you get into the mid game and late game, the um the camps give you like every camp that you get gives you um this faction wide um plus 10 percent for all non-camp buildings so at first that's not really a big deal but once you get a f once you get a fair few buildings um you know it starts to kind of add up especially if you've got trade trade goods because this is worth like 200 which is not very good, really, but it's still 200. Um, and then these money buildings are only worth 150. So, but if you get get both of those in a, in the same settlement, 350, it's pretty crap. Like compared to 500 that you would get for um, for Empire. But once you got like 10 camps, so you're getting 150 percent increase, you know, on top of your normal amount or whatever, because the camp stuff goes up as well. So you eventually you get plus twelve percent from all non-camp. So you just say you had ten camps, you got plus one hundred and twenty. Um, then you get and say two hundred and twenty percent. So then it starts to get like pretty valuable having non-camp buildings. But yes, you're right. They are kind of cool in that they don't really need settlements. They're kind of like, kind of like. Um, Actually, now they're, it's quite different, really, from the bl Black Ox. Like, it's there's definitely similarities between Black Ox and camps, but they're actually quite a different uh, mechanics from each other, and they affect the campaign in quite different ways. All right. I am the Tenderizer. Strike through the pain. Oh, they raised what? Oh, the Skaven. Okay, so the Skaven took out the. 
Hmm. Hands should be able to move by 25%. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah, I was just getting at, like, the way that they kind of interact with the campaign, like, you kind of, like, with, with Dark Elves, like, one thing you can do is kind of, you know, just go rush, get get your first Black Ark out as fast as possible if you don't start with one, and then um, start recruiting Black Ark Corsairs, and then build, like, a shade building or whatever, you know, and build, like, higher tier, get into higher tier stuff um, fairly quickly and, and what have you. Um, but also, it's, it's cheaper as well, so you can get, like, expensive armies and stuff. But it's sort of weird because it's sort of different, very different, because, like, Black Ark's don't really give you capacity for heroes and stuff um and also they give you a lot they're very offensive like they give you a lot of offensive capability whereas ogre camps are very kind of defensive or you have to defend them i guess um general they're a lot they're settled they're a lot more like settlements basically but you can choose where you want to put them whereas black arcs are kind of like settlements that move in a way but they're, yeah, they're a lot more of an offensive unit. Peace treaty, uh, I mean, sure. Um, when you say camp count as a home region, you mean as in, oh, right, you're meaning literally as in you don't get no settlement attrition from... Yeah, true. I think. Actually, I don't even know. Is that true? You would hope that you don't. All right. We got us another camp. We still got plus camp growth. We got five turns of no. We got one turn of plus hundred camp growth. Um, they don't take no home attrition when they have a camp. Oh, nice, nice. So that's another difference, I guess, because you do take no camp, no home attrition if you don't if you only have a black arc, but the black arcs themselves don't take attrition. Do we need growth? Three, two, three, three. No, we don't need growth. Um, we have been treated like me. Tyrant of the tribe. The hundred camp growth is silly. Uh, yeah, Obey true. Me. Uh, we could do a little bit of a cheese. That's only two thousand gold. That's pretty expensive. But then again, we want everything in charge. This will do the trick. Gonna be over, Tyrant, one day. Consume. Can I trade something to them for Veil of Titans? I don't think so, not really. Tyrant of the tribe. On it. Boss of bosses. Hold, master. 
That won't work. Pick it! All right, um... All right, well, I think we can slaughter master. Is that our twenty percent? Bloody hell, that's crap. Bring me ingredients. Some bearers scrap my soul. Yeah, we're never going to take that settlement, are we? Oh, we got to eliminate Nakai the Wanderer. Oh, that's cool. So even though we pieced out with Nakai the Wanderer, we've still got this. We've still got that um, quest. It's kind of cool. Also, I think it's because camps raid neighboring areas for needs, so it says in territory. Yeah, that's right. If you put yeah, if you put a camp into um, if you've got to camp into enemy territory, it counts as raiding their lands, which is pretty crazy. Uh, is there anything you can see on here about it? No. Or maybe in here you can. Mm, nah. But yeah, it's um, but yeah, so that's an interesting one is too when you're trading settlements. If you have a camp in your in your region, you sell that region to an ally, then that means your camp is then raiding them. Um, ambush is good. Ah, oh, population surplus for newly deployed camps. That's good. Uh, don't care too much about that. Oh, uh, this is minus 50% upkeep for Noblars is super good. Um, so, yeah, I might... There's a lot of good stuff in here, really. Income from camp buildings is good, too. Hmm. But, yeah, once you get this minus 50% Noblars, that means that you can uh, have completely free garrisons in all of your camps. Um... So, yeah, it's pretty good. With this, we'll take the world. Yeah, I'll put a camp here. So we've got a nice three little safe camp island. I'm loving these camp islands. I don't know if um, Paul's in the chat, but he was the one who mainly suggested that I take out uh, Kugath early. And I was very dubious, but I'm quite happy that I did now. Because I was originally going to thinking of keeping Kugath as a, keeping Kugath as like a friend, and um, just stopping here and recruiting from his allied recruitment, but it's really nice having Kugath Islands as your little safe haven, you know. Um, unless uh, Krokgar comes and invades me at some point, then that would suck. But anyways, um, Master Butcher, Carve and speak of the devil. Oh yeah, another thing I was thinking about when we were talking before about like taking Quartermaster instead of like Redline or whatever like that. Um, with the way that respec is now, you can just spec into Blue Line with like one Lord and then like when you want to fight, you can like respec him out, bring in, bring in another Lord who's like level seven or whatever, spend that Lord's skills into combat. Then after the battle, respec him out, bring in another Lord that you've already got to level nine or whatever, respec him back into Quartermaster. So you can kind of, if you've got enough Lords, you can actually just run both Quartermaster and Red Lion, you know, but, um, but then you'll, you know, you won't be leveling up individual Lords as much. Mm. 
Humans will serve this new master. Scrap launches and trappers benefit from it too. Yeah, everything, all Noblar units get it. Um, I'm thinking I should probably wrap up soon, but um, I kind of want to do a bit of a quick um, Mordheim stream as well because I've been liking uh, the Mordheim streams lately. I want to do a Blood Bowl stream as well, but I can't do everything, so. Um, but yeah, I'm so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to, we're going to shut down the Wemma stream and then we're going to start a new stream, which is going to be uh, Mordheim City of the Damned um stream which is a tech like a tactical rpg type game that's set in the warhammer universe a couple of hundred years earlier than total war um it's i think it's actually around the same time when the old the new old world setting that games workshops launching is um set but uh, anyway so if you want to join me with that we're going to be playing another episode of our caribou great swords adventure my um my great swords oh well i'll talk about it more over there if you guys are interested uh do you think all all scrap launcher garrison is best for camps um no nah, i don't know maybe i know i kind of like to have a bit of a mix uh maybe for auto resolve yeah i don't know yeah i have to test it all right. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to go uh, switch you guys over to some more time. Um, I'll disappear momentarily and then pop you over into the new stream. But, you know.